I honestly don't have a clue what you guys are talking about. Kelf. <laughs> it was just a notification. I had the stream title correct, okay? <laughs> it's just a notification. I was just testing you guys to make sure you're getting notifications. And it and it worked. Y'all let me know. <laughs> we got the notification with the misspelled word. Yep. No, the title was fine. <laughs> Jeez. What's up, everybody? How you guys doing? Happy Friday. Good to see you. Yeah, yeah, it was a test. I, I did it on purpose because I'm flawless. I don't make mistakes. We know that. Yeah. I, I've seen a lot of people saying, oh, I didn't get notifications for your stream. So I was like, well, let's find out. I'll spell the word wrong, and I'm sure you guys will tell me. <laughs> Scott in the chat. What's up, Scott? How you doing, man? How you doing? Good to see you here. Mystery Raven, thank you so much for the five gift sub, Bob. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Um... Guys, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna do something I said I wouldn't do. I have a hair out of place. I can feel it. Uh, I'm gonna do something I, I said I wouldn't do. Loving the chest room. Thank you. Isn't it? Isn't it nice? I got all the colors. Uh, it did look better with item frames. Oh, Scott, have you seen this? Have you seen this? The soup market. The cyberpunk soup market. Hold on, I'll step back. I'll step back. Oh, that's better, 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 better. There we go. It's my cyberpunk supermarket. We gotta name that guy. I decided on a name for him. Stewie. <laughs> oh, Scott, you're too kind. Watch all my videos. Thanks, dude. <laughs> I like Stewie. No, we're not naming him Kelf. Jeez. At least I know you guys are getting notifications. That's good. Truncate Venus, thanks for the 100 bits. Cyric LaCroix, thank you for the 500 bits. Happy Friday to you. Appreciate it. We got to do more of these. That was so much fun doing that. I need to do more. Um, but let's get some bone mill. I need some carrots right now. <laughs> Buddy the Kelf. Oh, my goodness. I'm afraid to look up what Kelf might mean. <laughs> got to feel like there's an urban dictionary for that. <laughs> don't do it. Don't do it. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. I'm just kidding. Uh, bone mill. Yeah, so I said I probably won't do a lot with villagers, but uh, I do need a couple villagers. Just for small little things, not going crazy with villager trading. Just a couple small things. Turns out villagers are actually almost required in Minecraft these days. As you guys saw how hard it was for Green to uh, get his mending. Is that, are we doing this right? No, we're back. Wait. Yeah, okay. Kelf means young call. cow. Okay. Wait a minute. Are you sure? This doesn't sound right. You're thinking calf. Did he ever get one? Oh. No, I mean how hard it's been for him to get one. What did I say? Streamer brain. <laughs> you seen how hard it's been for him to get one. Uh-uh. I don't know anything. <laughs> I'm trying to plant carrots here, guys. Don't be don't be throwing some fake news out there. <laughs> I can't even spell right today, okay? Get off my back. It's Friday. <laughs> uh, carrots. Yes, carrots. Thank you. One letter wrong, and you're just not going to let it go, are you? <laughs> Been hanging out with Skiz too much. I'm starting to uh, pick up his bad habits. It's funny, too, because I, 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 I was like, should I look at that notification message again just to make sure? Nah. And, of course, the one time I don't double check it. I need to subscribe to Twitch Blue so that I can, I can edit the notification after it's set. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. The fact you get no notifications is good. I know I haven't been getting a lot of notifications from the Twitch app. Like I didn't get notification when Skiz started streaming yesterday. It made me sad. Is this gonna be enough carrots? We'll try. We gotta breed up some villagers. Oh yeah, fortune. Yeah. 
Yeah, I always forget about that. It feels weird to use my pickaxe, but I'll do it. Let's let's do some more then. I think I think I want eight stacks just to be sure. We're gonna go breed some villagers. We're gonna bring them over here. And uh, basically, I just I I kind of want a cleric. All the rotten flesh that we get from the zombie farm, I'd like to just trade right there with the cleric, just so I can have some random emeralds on hand. Because we get a lot of wandering tra traders. Google says Kelf is a noun for a foolish fellow. Well, who feels foolish today? Not me. Not me. No. Nope. Not at all. Backwards again. Not at all. <laughs> We're flawless. Kelf equals villagers. Yeah, that's what I bet. That's what I bet. My morning. We're getting villagers. Also, we got some work to do uh, in the Kelf farm. Yeah, that's why that was the title, right? Kelp Farm. Yes, we'll be doing that. <laughs> Tony J, thanks for the 2,000 bits. I get both a podcast and an imp stream, impulse stream the day after your birthday. Ooh, a day after your birthday. So it was yesterday. Well, I hope you had a good... <laughs> hope you had a good one. <laughs> yeah, podcast came out today on patience. Uh... Something that was near and dear to Skiz's heart at the moment because, you know, everything he's dealing with since since he got to be announced as a new hermit. And then he just had to he just had to finish up his last week of his job before sabbatical. And then he gets shingles. And uh, he's been on a little bit. We've done a couple things. Skiz and I have been working on some projects you saw the last couple days. Uh, but I think it really is difficult for him dealing with shingles. You can imagine. Fortune's the way to go. I can't believe we forgot about that. How did you guys let me forget about that? Here, let's replant these. <laughs> Hello, hype train ending. Thank you guys so much for that hype train. Appreciate it. Yeah, Skiz has had a, a rough start to the season. That's okay. That's okay. He is, uh, out of all the people in this world, He's 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 got the patience to deal with it. That's what we talked about on the podcast. It's what it's like to have to have the kind of patience it takes to to get through bad situations. It's a good one. Interesting topic. I can tell you that most likely, not next week, but the week after, we will have a guest. Most likely, on the podcast, unless something falls through. Not going to tell you who. You'll know him. Oh. Okay, well, I, I gotta give a pronoun at least. <laughs> but yeah. So yeah, excited to have guests again. It's been too long. Uh, B-Dubs was our last guest, and uh, oh, it was amazing having him on. But yeah, we want to continue having guests on the show. So don't unsubscribe. Just because you're bored by topics like patience. If, if you are. Hopefully you're not. There were some good nuggets in that. <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm not even gonna respond to any guesses. <laughs> you guys are already throwing me off today. <laughs> Drakey, thanks for the hundred bits. Epic, thanks for the hundred bits. Is my mic not close enough to my mouth today? Hmm. Yes, my notification was spelled wrong. When's your turn, Scott? We'd love to have you on. Are you volunteering as tribute, Scott? Well, let's get in touch. Skiz and I have actually brought up your name multiple times. We just haven't reached out. I always feel weird asking people to be on. Really? Okay, dude. All right. All right. Well, we'll get it going. We'll get it. We'll get it on the schedule. All right. I'll hit you up after the stream. <laughs> That'd be a great one. I'd love to have you on, man. Yeah, we've brought your name up a few times. Yeah, like I said, I always feel weird about reaching out because, you know, it's like, podcast etiquette as far as I understand unless I'm completely wrong here is uh, you know because I've been on a few podcasts myself it's not like you get paid to be on a podcast as a guest you know what I mean like that's just the way podcasts work it's kind of just like a thing you do for fun kind of thing um, unless I'm completely wrong and I'm blowing it as a podcast host uh, so I always feel bad reaching out because I always you know time is time is precious to everybody I love both you and Skiz. I'm always down to hang. Nice. Thanks, dude. Yeah, I guess it's more of a networking thing. You're right. Um, let people get to know get to know you and stuff. And if they don't, 
You know, Evan and Caitlin were on the show. I, I was on, uh, I, I did a few podcasts. I was on the uh, Spawn Chunks podcast twice, I think. But yeah, it's just a me thing. I, I always feel weird asking people for their time. Because I know how precious time is to everybody. But yeah, dude, if you're volunteering, woo, we'll make it happen. That's exciting. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, this is enough carrots. You just got to breed these dudes up. Is Skell said he would too, if we asked? Oh, man. Somebody grilled Etho, I think, on a... He was streaming with, with Tango's friend Brody, and and uh, somebody asked Etho on a, on a stream, and he said he would, or he'd consider it, at least. I don't know. So we've had a few people. We've had a few people say they would. I don't know why we went so long without a guest, to be honest. We're blowing it. Am I going to play the new Phasmo with the shop update? Yeah, not today though. Not today. I know. Uh, I know Jimmy's playing Phasmo in a little bit with uh, Skiz and Green and Scar. I think I wasn't able to do that one. You guys know my Fridays are uh... well. Today we've got a double stream already. <laughs> that would have been three streams in one day. Yeah. So tonight we're streaming uh, Derp stream. I don't know if we should call it that, guys. Uh, but me Tango Skiz is gonna stream tonight. And so, yeah, three in one day, plus I would have had to miss my lunch date with my wife. I, uh, I unfortunately had to decline to play Phasma today. Hurt my, it hurt my soul, trust me. Hurt my soul, but yeah, I want to get back to Phasma. Yeah, there's, they fixed the shop. I, I don't know if they fixed it or not. It's different now. I don't know if fix is a, is, is a true statement there, but we'll see. End busting. It could be a thing. Yeah, I don't know exactly what we're doing tonight, but, uh... I wouldn't mind doing a little end city raiding. I still don't know if I'm ready for Elytra. I'm still happy riding my horse around, you know? <laughs> my marriage is greater than Phasma. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Wait, what did you say, Scott? Way to flex that you have a wife. <laughs> Thanks, dude. <laughs> Why don't you rub that in my face? <laughs> oh. Why did why aren't these why are they saying that the bed's not working for them? They can't get out, right? If I block this up completely. And they can get to these beds, can't they? Why are they why are they all mad? These beds aren't good for them? Guys, I'm confused. Why, why are you not, why are you too good for these beds? There's two beds, you, you're happy, yeah? Okay, and now there's three beds, which means you can make it a baby. I need to take these away, they need some space. I was afraid golems would spawn. How about now? Do it. Do it. That's a little wrong, isn't it? I look away. With the fresh animations? With the fresh animations, I'm a little worried. I'm a little worried about what this part might, what happened here. <laughs> I did pick up all the food. Hold on. <laughs> We've got the fresh animations mod. And I'm not sure how fresh it's going to get. <laughs> Let's come up here. Okay. Oh no, is one of them a thief? Is one of them a thief? Hearts, hearts. Okay. We're not looking. We don't look. <laughs> Mad Maddie, thanks for the 100 bits. You could use horse for everyday travel and elytra for long distance. Oh, yeah. So just only get the elytra out when, when I truly need it instead of, like, relying on it always. Yeah. Yeah, that could be a thing. I could just get it and not use it yet at all. Yeah. Gans, thank you so much for the 100 bits. You can stay up all night watching the stream even if it's midnight here. No work tomorrow. Oh, nice. Nice. Sleep in. Very good. Did you guys make it a baby? You did. Okay. Excellent. Hi. That is a ginormous head for a baby. <laughs> I guess. I mean, most babies do have a head that's a little bigger than it should be for their body, right? <laughs> Mega mind. <laughs> Miranda Miller, thank you so much for the 100 bits. First, you go swearing on today's podcast. No questionable jokes. Come on, man. I know, right? 
I did. I cussed on the podcast today. I said bad words. You want to know what I said? I said. <laughs> yep. I think like two or three times. <laughs> Twice even. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Got me. I didn't. I don't know why I couldn't. I. I could have. I could have. I could have watered it down a little bit. It just felt like it was necessary. I don't know. Was it bleeped? I don't think Skiz bleeped it. I doubt he bleeped it, right? The podcast is a little more adult-style content anyway. Beep is such a bad word. It was not bleeped. Okay. Yeah. We, we look at the podcast and kind of consider it adulty anyway. All right. Let's see. I got to figure out how to get these guys out of here. Now that once once we have it to babies, let me see. Can I open this up without? I might just put them in a boat. Get in the boat. <laughs> Every time I say boat, now I think of that that scene from Naked and Scared, whatever last season was. Was it last season where Skiz could not get in the boat? Kept getting hit by the the drown with the trident. Oh man. Okay, you get in the boat. I know, I know, your parents are over there and stuff. But I just I need. I just need two villagers. That's all I need. He just wants to jump on the bed. All right. Well, we'll, get, we'll get there eventually. As long as I don't let him out right here. All right. Um, we travel this way. We travel this way, maybe. Gonna have to carve this down. Oh, but then we gotta worry about golems. Right. I'll keep it slabby. All right, we'll fix it. I'm hoping to go straight this way to my base. Villager napping, exactly. We take these. Once we have two at our own base, then we can do whatever we want, and it'll be fine. We did lose a couple villagers in here, Tango told me, in our cells. So I think we have only like two out of the four iron cells actually working at the moment, which is a bummer. We'll have to fix that. I don't know if we'll do that tonight or not. Tonight's probably going to be more about, like, what kind of shenanigans and goofs can we get up to. That's typically the Friday Night Vibes. At least that's how I remember it. How'd we lose them? Uh, I think they... I think somehow a zombie got in. I think somehow a zombie got into their cell. Somehow spawned inside or something. Got to them in some way. Or they suffocated in the wall, maybe? Is our other theory... Oh, good. He... He must have, uh... Cleaned all this up. Nice. Yeah, we're not sure. Uh, we might need to put some glass blocks in the wall or something. Help out with that. So it doesn't keep happening. Ooh, I don't want this. This is my pick. Thank you. Uh, 7 p.m. my time tonight. So, yeah. I need to put that on the schedule. I meant to do that. Uh, okay, so we started the stream 18 minutes ago. And that's 9 a.m. my time. So, 10 hours... Nine hours and 42 minutes from now, I think is the plan. Actually, we haven't talked about it. <laughs> we haven't actually talked about it. I think Tango brought up 7 o'clock, though, our time, Arizona time, which is uh, 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern, and some stupid crazy time for uh, the GMT or BST, whichever one you guys are on right now. I forget. Not a great time. Not a great time for the uh, the UK folks, sorry. <laughs> Maybe if you wake up early, you can catch some of it. Maybe. <laughs> you have to get up super early, though. 2 a.m. Yeah, we start at 2 a.m. for you guys. Ouch. Yeah, that's rough. That's rough. Yeah, yeah, we know. It's not the best time, time uh, zone. <laughs> but it's Friday night for us. We like to just hang out and chill. Have some fun. Maybe have a couple sodas during it. Maybe. You won't know what's in my cup. I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> you can always watch the VOD. Yes. Yeah, the VOD will be on the second channel. <laughs> Greetings from Germany. Well, hello. Hello. <laughs> Bring your own soda. Yes. That's, that's the kind of stream it's going to be tonight. Bring your own soda stream. Hopefully, oops, hopefully they will breed another one while we're doing this. 
I'm glad Tango. Tango must have gone around and done lit this place up. <laughs> yes, BYOB. Uh, sodas, yes. <laughs> I think Skiz is in for tonight. Pretty sure. So the Skiz, they're going to be doing a double stream as well then. Or Skiz will be anyway. Because he's going to be doing Phasmo with, with uh, Jimmy, Green, and Scar. It's going to be weird without me. See you at 2 a.m.? Okay, okay. You're going to pull an all-nighter? Take a nap in the middle of the day? You'll be all right. How far do we have to go? Oh. Oh, I was going to dig straight through, but this is far. Like, really far. Hold on. Uh, I know, using the cheaty cam account, but maybe we, yeah, maybe it's time we stair step up out of this place. I could come up over here a bit. That might help. Let's try to, let's go a little bit further and then go up there. All right. We needed to do that. We needed to do that. Gotta love the cheaty cam. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Ice blocks? That's okay. This is the part that takes a long time, just getting the path. First stream, you made it! Welcome, welcome. NJ Coffee Junkie in the house with 100 bits. Thank you so much. As if I needed another reason to listen to today's podcast after this. <laughs> oh, the patience one. Yes. The patience one was tough for me because I felt like... Uh, I don't want to say a hypocrite, but there are certain things that trigger trigger my my uh, inability to have patience, and then there's some things that like I have infinite patience for. I'm a I'm a weird person like that, and so that's kind of some of the discussion of the podcast is how how different things can affect different levels of patience in in people's lives and stuff. Guys, I'm best friends with Skizzle Man, like. Nothing's going to test your patience more than that. <laughs> Sorry, Skiz. Love you, bud. <laughs> uh. <laughs> well, you know, if you know, you know. You know. <laughs> I'm not being rude. <laughs> Night Trolley, thank you so much for the kid. You dig it. $3.14. Appreciate you. Milk, yogurt, candy bars in the freezer. Uh, later when they are streaming Phasmo, they're all going to be texting you asking you what ghost it is. <laughs> so I'll still be included. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. Imp impulse. They're going to leave me like the uh, the voice memos. All right, dude. Here's the speed of the ghost. Do, 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 do. We can't tell. Is that a gin with the breaker off? Or <laughs> or is that, the, is that the fast twin? I can't tell. I can't tell. <laughs> No, dudes. That's just normal speed. What are you, what are you doing? What are you doing? You guys panicking? You scared? <laughs> uh, meanwhile, I'll be out to my out to lunch with my wife, and she's gonna be like, "Get off your phone. We're talking." <laughs> I am gonna get FOMO. I will, but I'll be with my wife. I'll be fine. Rogue Raven seven seven three four. Thank you for the five hundred bits. Loving the interaction between the hermits this season. You can feel it's going to be a good season, and it's your birthday. Okay, well, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Hope you have a good one. All right, from here we're gonna have to coax them out with the beds, I guess, or workstations, maybe. I think we're far enough away from I don't have to worry about slamming this anymore. We'll keep it lit up, though. Mm -mm -mm. Can you bring the villagers through Gem's tunnel? She made, didn't, wait, Gem made a tunnel? Where's Gem's tunnel? What tunnel? I don't see a tunnel. Oh, this. Oh, dang. Oh, dang. Hello. What? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Really? Really? 
It was so secret I didn't know about it. Really? What what would you say you do here? <laughs> oh come on! We could have dumped this right into the Oh Look at where I am. Look at what am I doing with my life? What am I doing with my life? What a waste of time. <laughs> Yeah, we'll come back here and we'll cut through. We'll cut through one of these and use it still. Oh my gosh. I just want to. Here's fine. Oh my gosh, guys. Thanks. Thanks for letting me know. Did you add any more mods this season? Um, Fresh animations, I guess is... Not technically a mod. I did have the more ones, and then there was a bug in it, but now the bug is fixed, so I need to add that back in. Uh, that's the one that does, like, the player animations. Remember, I'd swing in my arm, and it was slow, and I'd hold a torch, and it pulled out in front of me like I was holding a microphone. Um, there was some bugs in it. I took that one off, but now that's been fixed, so I'm going to put that one back on, I think. Um, other mods, I have just the same as last season, really. Same as last season. I can't think of anything added. False is stuck in the mail system. Oh, no. Uh-oh. <laughs> Gonna have to call Tango or Etho on that one. I have no idea. I do not want to get... They got some crazy stuff going on. I do not want to get involved in that. <laughs> all right, let's cut all the way through. Mm -mm -mm. Need to make sure we have some time. I need redstone. I think that's another reason why I really want to get this cleric. Um... We got lots of rotten flesh that's just storing up in our zombie farm. If we trade that for emeralds, then we could trade the emeralds for rot, uh, for redstone. Then we can get back to building the kelp farm. That's what we ran out of was redstone. Yeah, we could go caving, of course. But killing two birds with one stone here since we have an abundance of rotten flesh. Not a good way to get rid of it other than trashing it. Kind of sad I'm going back to the villagers. I'm not going to get heavy involved. I'm not going to do a villager trading hall, nothing like that. Just a couple villagers for uh, certain things I need. Like the cleric is basically just a rotten flesh recycler. I didn't set a zero villager policy. I just said I did not want to get heavy into villager trading. Villager trading to me is uh, tedious and, and I've done it. Been there, done that too many times. Kind of bored of it at the moment. Is that my dog? My dog just come in here and sneeze. <laughs> she just sneezed. Are you good? Are you good, Prim? You guys still think I have a fake dog because she's never on camera. <laughs> That's more the way they should be used. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Just use them as utilities, not as a uh, corporation, corporative, uh, not corporative, uh, Industrialized. <laughs> Gotta blame the farts on something. It's the dog. Yeah, I swear we have a dog. <laughs> yeah. This one will be kind of locked up. I, it would be nice to let them have like free, free range. You know what I mean? Like maybe in the Cyberpunk City we'll do that. We'll have more of a free range. Am I at the right level? Oh, we might have to go up one. Actually, it looks like. We, yeah, it looks like we might have to go up one. That's okay. Ghost dog. <laughs> She's not real. <laughs> She's AI. Yeah. AI generated dog. It's, yeah, it's so good now you can't even tell. <laughs> Uh, as an Impen's Skiz Glimpse supporter, can confirm the dog is real. Yes, the yes, Prim has made her appearance on the Impen's Skiz uh, pre-podcast private glimpse stream. 3PGS is what we call it. Uh, she has made her way on there because we have a different camera set up where you can see the whole room. And sometimes she comes in during it. So there you go. There you go. Vouch. Prim is real. Editor in. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Green screen effect. That's it. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? 
This is a lot of work for one-time transport. I feel like I could have done this a little better. And I definitely want to keep this stone. Somebody I know needs it. Somebody I know needs it. Yeah, maybe have some patience with this dig, right? <laughs> what breed is Prim? She is a Border Collie. Ayo! We made it. We made it. We made it. Sorry about the hole in the side. Oh, man. Um, here, we'll do this so that they can step up. And then we'll get a boat right here ready to go. Oh, was there a boat in there? Do I have to use this one? I think I have to use this one. Oh, that's sick. Okay. Can I borrow that boat over there? Is she going to mind? I'm going to borrow that boat. I don't know why I need to. When did Jem do this? Has it been shown in video or am I, am I exclusive preview in this? Can't believe Prim is locked behind a paywall. Yeah, the only way you guys can see her is if you support us on Glimpse. Then you can see Prim. Oh, jeez. Making me sound like a monster here. <laughs> uh, it was on stream? Okay, cool. So she ain't, she ain't gonna be mad. Mm -mm. Only dogs. <laughs> Stop. I was gonna block this off. Uh, <laughs> uh, how is that not a thing? That's gotta be a thing, right? People love animals on social media, right? I swear, that's all my wife watches on, on her like Instagram feed or whatever. Is, is animal clips and she's always cracking up <laughs> cue the milky wait, wait cue the mimi mimi q uh nailed it crushed first time thank you 400 bits thank you so much for that a love a love a a love a 315 it's a good day when there's a podcast m stream and extra fun later loving this season and all your content thank you so much yeah it's been it's been so much fun it's been so much fun thank you i'm glad you're enjoying it It does, it just feels, it just hits different. I, I, I said it, my video, oh, that's not where we are. I said it in my video, it's just hitting different this season and I'm, I'm here for it, I love it. Hey! Okay, 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 you guys did a thing, cool. Cool, yeah, nice, the babies worked their way in here. Although I need you in separate boats, actually. If that's all the same for you. <laughs> Can we get you in separated boats? Real quick, like. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, we can do this without hurting anyone. Thank you. Okay, just one at a time. One at a time. I know, I know you're scared. It's okay. It's gonna be okay. Gonna be okay. Don't worry. It's just a small little trip we're gonna take. I should have put the boat a little closer, huh? Okay, and then you, you. No, don't get that boat. Don't get that boat. There you go. <laughs> Lucky we didn't panic. <laughs> it's fine. So I just yelled at him. I don't know why. They're, they're, they're babies. They're babies. They don't know what they're doing. <laughs> why was I so hard on them? <laughs> I, might need to, I might need to see someone about my anger issues. <laughs> uh, Proud Looney, thank you so much for the 500 bits. I love waiting for my weekly podcast episode. Thank you so much. It really does warm my heart to know you guys are enjoying the podcast. Scooter Shot, thank you for the 100 bits. Do I have any videos of me drumming? Uh, yeah, there was. Uh, we drummed on stream a few times. There's a few VODs up on my uh, on my second channel. I think if you look for Impulse uh, drumming to Hermitcraft songs or something, I don't know what I don't know what we titled it, um, but yeah, it's there. It's there. I could have kept it anyway. They're there somewhere. There's clips of me drumming. Uh, I think somebody actually edited a clip of me drumming to uh, Scar's super fast build mode that's out there. Not on my channel, but somebody else's channel. Sam with the 100 bits. <laughs> hey, Sam, how you doing? Thanks for being here, man. Can you let us bop? Like the bop? Oh, I was drumming to the MCC music that one time. That was amazing. Um, that was a lot of fun. Drum set's back. I got the drum set back. Finally. Since uh, the next podcast is going to be guest, a guest, that means we won't be back in this room for a while. So I tore down the podcast setup, brought my drum set back. It is kind of a pain to uh, have to 
set up and tear down and set up and tear down, but it's worth it. It's so worth it. All right, let me make sure this guy is not going to go anywhere. Okay. Stop you. Get in the boat. Get in the boat. Get in the boat. You dumb dumb. New studio is still short of space. I know, needed to needed to have one more room. <laughs> Bye guy. <laughs> he did what he did. Bye guy. Oh man. <laughs> he was, you know, I yelled at him like, "How dare you run from me while I'm kidnapping you?" <laughs> right? That was that energy right there. <laughs> You stay here and let me kidnap you, darn it. <laughs> oh, man. Literally like dealing with toddlers. <laughs> oh, we need to get him up in there. That's going to be interesting. If I leave him here, he'd probably die. People won't sleep, right? I need to get him up in there. Best way to do that. He's not grown. Will he follow a bed still? Only if it's starting to be nighttime, which it's about to be. Maybe. Uh, this feels like the best path. If I'm honest. Just minecart him up here. Is that what we're dealing with? Uh, if I block this off. This is going to go poorly, isn't it? How poorly is this going to go? What if? Yeah, it's already going really badly. I hate water. I hate water. Water mechanics in Minecraft just drive me absolutely bonkers. I just wanna, I just wanna like quickly tie this off. Okay. Perfect. Yes, that's exactly what we wanted to do. What? Mm. Okay, we did it. We did it, flawless. Okay. We just got to bring him up in here. He's not going to love that. There's zombies in here. He's going to hate this idea. <laughs> he, he is really not going to love this idea. Um, We could minecart him up there, or we could try to lure him with a bed. I got a feeling if we if we try the bed thing, it's gonna be it's gonna be bad. Let's let's do the minecart. Let's do the minecart. He's about to die. Fishing pole. That could get interesting. Probably kill him in the process. Let's clean up a little bit. We're a mess. We're an absolute mess. As usual. I just Okay, um, I think I just put the stuff in with the redstone. Yeah, uh, can we get him up on regular rails, you think? It might be a bit of a slog to push him up there, but I think we can manage. No fall damage in boats. Can, you, can I even pull the boat out of the water? No, I can't. I have to hook the boat first is the problem, and he's in it. I don't think I can hook the boat while he's in it. Let me get two minecarts just in case. Let's just get him in a minecart. Furnace minecart. Yeah, I forget about furnace minecarts all the time. That's a good idea. Fantastic idea. Smart. Smart people saying smart people things. That's why you guys are always invited. You're always invited. Smart people are always invited to the stream. Didn't mean to do that. Some coal. Ugh. Come on now. If I was only as addicted to coal as Skiz was, I'd have some. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Pretty sure you can hook him. Uh, uh, not sure. Hold on, am I getting important text messages? Not really. Just my wife sending me dog stuff. <laughs> only smart people? <laughs> Don't leave, Cal. Everyone's... Uh, this is a... Uh, a all inclusive stream, okay? Everyone's welcome. Everyone's welcome. 
If that was the protocol, then I would probably have to see myself out as well, considering the fact I can't even spell kelp right. Okay? So there's that. <laughs> why do you guys keep bringing that up? Anyway, can't just let it go? I misspelled one thing on a notification, and you guys are all over it. Seriously. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, come on. That was totally in. That was totally in. No! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Man, I hate villagers. That's the real reason why. See, now Prim's in here wondering why I'm yelling. <laughs> Ari Fox, thank you for the $3.14. Impulse, uh, working while I watch the stream and could use some advice if you have any. Uh, I'm writing a resume for a job at an aquarium and could use some tips on how to word it. I'm having trouble starting it as I didn't have to write one for my last job. It's been a while since I've had to, uh, to do a resume as well because I worked at my last company for 17 years. Didn't have to do any resumes during that for uh, position changes or anything. And uh, turns out you don't have to write a resume to uh, be a YouTuber and streamer, which is kind of neat. But uh, yeah, it's been a while. Hmm. All right. Chat might have to help with this one. Chat GPT is a good place to start. Just to just to get yeah, just to get a couple ideas flowing, I suppose. Don't use it at the end because it'll be obvious it's chat GPT. But just to just to get some ideas flowing, maybe. Yeah, and that's what I would do. I would probably look to other like examples like resumes on, online and stuff i would really struggle i wish i could i wish i could help you but like i said i am so out of touch and rusty with the resume writing process that uh, i can't even remember what mine was but good luck okay give me these back thank you We'll leave this set up here for the next one. In fact, if I bring both of those in there, that's fine. If we're gonna breed them, we'll just breed them in there. It'll be it'll be fine. It'll be fine. It's totally gonna work. Okay. Okay, so you're gonna be end of the line. Furnace minecart. Smart people things. Literally the only use for a furnace fine minecart in Minecraft. <laughs> He's up. Save the fuel. Okay, I know. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Not the most hospitable place. Sorry. But it's where you're gonna be, okay? Just just for a little bit. It's cool. You're fine. Everything's fine. All right, let's go get the other one. We did it. One down. One down. Gems tunnel came in clutch. Easy to convert them back yet. Yeah. Six to go. Now I'm just going to get two, and then we'll bring them over here. Bedrock doesn't have a finest furnace minecart. Really? Nah, I'm not buying that. Come on now. In Bedrock, you can put leads on boats, though. That is... That might be one of the things I'm most jealous of. Oh, you can piston push chests. Guardian of the Light, 100 bits. Thank you. And you can piston push lecterns. Bedrock has a few things on Java, but Java is still by far superior, I say. <laughs> Sam with the 100 bits. It says, it's not kidnapping, it's surprise adopting. Learn that from Fwip. <laughs> yeah, there you go. That's a much better way of putting it. <laughs> Today's your lucky day. You're getting adopted. To go work in a child labor camp. Lucky you. Oh, no, not a child. Not a child. Oh. Eh. 
Yeah. Not a child. We're not kidnapping anymore. We're uh, adult napping. <laughs> Feels much better, right? Uh, yeah, regular labor camp. He just he's just working. I'll pay him good wages. I'll pay him great wages. <laughs> Still adoption. We're adopting him. Yes, you can adopt an adult. He's going to get paid in rotten flesh. Who wouldn't want to be paid in rotten flesh? Come on now. This is, this, this is the luckiest villager on the planet. And he knows it. Look at him. He's looking, He's like, why are we leaving all that copper in the wall? <laughs> That's the look on his face there. <laughs> Didn't it seem like that? Why are we leaving all that copper? <laughs> he's not sad. Look at him. He's so happy. Okay, maybe. Okay. Um, he's so happy. <laughs> that is, that's the look of somebody this stupid. <laughs> Take it. Oh, you couldn't even pretend to be happy for a minute. There, look at him. That's a smile. That's a smile. Oh, he's loving this. This is the most sight scene he's ever done. This is like the best trip of his life. Uh, okay, we're gonna try to be a little smarter this time. Try to be. Probably not gonna happen. Okay. Just need you to get in the boat, okay? We won't yell. I won't yell at you. There you go. Oh, what a good sport. What a good sport. Take this back down. Very good sport. <laughs> Name him Happy. <laughs> uh -huh. I just throw my pick to it. Okay. I have to fix these bridges too that I cut through. We gotta we gotta make actual bridges, kind of like Gem did, where it's like up high. You can still go under it, but you can get across. I think we want to probably keep this river. Uh, I'm cutting it off with my city, but I think I'm gonna I'm gonna curve it back through between me and Skiz so that it still goes through. I had to think on it a few times. Okay. We gotta get over to the track over there, though. Okay, let's see if we can do this. Get out! Get out the boat! Why is it not hitting the boat? Oh, lag! Oh, jeez. Okay. Yike. Yikers. Okay, where are we going? Where are we going? Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. This is the problem. This is the problem. You're running. Stop running! Oh, my goodness. Where are you going? Oh man, this guy. This guy. What? Why are. Where are you off to, guys? Yeah. Gosh. We got a runner! <laughs> we got a runner! <laughs> oh man. How long am I streaming for? Uh, my usual time. I, I usually go about three hours. We've been going for about 48 minutes now, so. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to hit record today. So I'm not recording any of this. That's okay. That's okay. We don't need we don't need any more footage. We have plenty. So much footage. A boat can go in a minecart, is what you're saying. So like if I do this and then I do this. Maybe if I push it real fast. Yeah! Get him! No. Okay, let's try this again. Maybe it'll just pick them right up in the... Nope. Okay. Okay. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. Eh. Stupid grass. Get in the boat. There you go. Hey, we made it up one more level. <laughs> we made it up one more level. I think I'm just going to block some in. And then you can't go nowhere. Okay. Smart. Maybe. Where are you gonna go now, guy? Huh? Where are you gonna go? You got nowhere. Just don't eject outside of the box. Okay, thank you. Okay. Where am I gonna go though? I, I can't I can't go either. Uh parkour! 
<laughs> you bet you wish you could parkour like me. I bet you do. <laughs> no, no, come back out. Okay. Stop it. Flawless. <laughs> you made it. <laughs> First try. Perfectly. Perfectly flawless. Villager transportation. Nobody has more experience than me. Okay. Now that they're in here, we got to give them a little space. Um, so I'm going to have to tear down this bookshelf, unfortunately. This is a silk touch axe. We're good. Bring Whoa! Haste! Hello! Hello, haste. Let's make a little breeding room back here, and then we can get our, our stations going. That'll do. These guys away from the zombies. They gotta be freaking out, man. Don't you wish... Don't you wish your... Um... I don't want to say that word. Um... Captor. Captor? Don't you wish you could parkour like me? <laughs> I don't know. I know what song you're going for, though. Sam with the 100 bits says, Call him Sam. He ran for the sunflowers. Oh, yes, yes, Sam. You do have an affinity for the sunflowers. That's true. <laughs> NJ. Let me turn the game. NJ with the 100 bits. Oh, I have a song to send you about cyberpunk. We'll send you later if interested. It's by the Stupendium. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, hook me up. Employer, good word. Don't you wish your employer... Wait, no, I am the employee. Employer. Employee? I don't know. All right. It's passed. The moment has passed. We failed. We failed to be witty, as usual. <laughs> uh... Mm -mm. The Kel farm. We haven't even we haven't even started on the Kel farm, okay? Jeez. Okay, notifications are a big deal. That's good to know. I'm glad you guys pay attention to your notifications. This, it was a test. I was curious. I knew if I spelled a word wrong, you guys would you guys would tell me that you saw it, and then I would know that you got my notification. <laughs> uh, it didn't say kelp. Kelf Parm did it. I didn't get both letters mixed up. Just one, right? Please tell me. One. Just one. All right. Um, more beds? More beds. Because we're going to... I think I'm going to breed them up a little more. I feel bad we took the bookshelf. We could just put that bookshelf here and it'd still work. Right? Do I have a tool? No. No. We're going to need some more carrots, I suppose. I need to get myself a little bone mill carrot thing. Oh, my God. Oh, man. I don't know how Skiz does it. I make one little mistake, and you guys don't let it go. <laughs> I got to bring that anvil back. Mm-mm-mm. Okay. Carrot farming. We got a little bit of bone mill. We'll use our fortune again. More bone mill, probably. Uh, so nice. We got all these bone blocks. He yells at you to shut up. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm not going to do that. You guys you guys do what you want. <laughs> got a birthday in the house. Uh, Aqua Row? Row? Is it X Island, I'm guessing? It's Aqua's birthday. So we shall. We have a good one. Not a mistake. It's extra content. Yeah, everybody. I, I, that was my ploy to get everybody to come to the stream. You know, not to watch me, to uh, mock me. It's working. Y'all came here. It's the most, most chat messages I've ever had to start a stream. You guys are helping. I, I don't think Twitch has some sort of algorithm for this, but 
If it did, you guys just helped it big time. It's like, whoa, this guy just started. These chat messages are blowing up. It's, it's going to be an amazing stream, obviously. <laughs> Perfect. I'm hacking the system. Excuse me. I really need to do get a real oops and then I just ruined that. I'll eat. It's creative spelling. Exactly. Creative spelling. Just like how, you know, sometimes we'll leave mistakes in our videos to uh so that you guys comment about it. You know, it's a professional move there. Seeding the comment section. More comments equals engagement. Engagement equals YouTube algorithm pushing your stuff out to more people. See? A little, little insider trick. You're welcome for that one. You're welcome. And the aspiring YouTubers there. That's that's free tip of the day. Make mistakes. And then pretend they're on purpose. I mean, they're on purpose. Fastest way to get the right answer is to post the wrong one online. There you go. Everyone will tell you. Everyone will tell you when you're wrong. You're right. <laughs> Everyone will be. Everyone loves to tell you when you're wrong. <laughs> it's our duty of uh, being online lurkers or whatever. Ooh, there's a podcast topic in there somewhere. Hmm, that one could get a little touchy. We try not to do too many controversial things. You know, not because we're scared, just because we don't want people divided. <laughs> the podcast, okay, uh, yeah. <laughs> Mod pack I use ads via mob. Um. Oh, controller support. I thought controller support was... They had that already in Java just built in. How many carrots do we need? This is probably enough, yeah? It always feels like they need more than I think. We'll try it. We'll see if they get breeding. Uh, I gotta make a couple more beds. I'm gonna leave those other beds in there because I got a feeling Tango and I are gonna need those to breed up some more villagers to fix all the cells that are currently missing villagers so oh yeah bottom left it just means like my in-game microphone's muted so if anybody's around me they don't hear me talking randomly to myself which is you guys um be a little odd i can make some beds i really don't know what to do with this minecart now that back copper oh Got some extra coal from the dig. Very nice. Accidentally did that. And there we go. Okay. Nope. I'm going to make four, three beds. Three beds. That's enough. Joel's area and yours are going to look so cool next to each other. Yes. Now that Joel's video is out, I can show you guys this. Um, so Joel and I were talking and basically the idea is... For him to, uh, he's going to have his city kind of sprawl <clears throat> down the mountain a bit. And so he's got this walkway now and this big arch, I guess, gateway. Um, that's going to lead right into the cyberpunk city. So here you can imagine like there being like a sidewalk that comes in. Uh, and then I think there's going to be like a street here. And then there'll be some buildings and stuff as you enter off to the left. And then... Uh, the street probably off to the right it's gonna be so cool the way we're tying this together i'm very very excited about it um his style is a little bit different he's got more of a an oriental type vibe to his i don't have that going on in mine um we're gonna have a little bit more of a i keep saying dystopian but that's cyberpunk is innately dystopian so that's not quite the right word but it's more of a a rundown abandoned kind of style so we do have two different styles that we're gonna kind of mesh and i think inadvertently kind of did it perfectly <laughs> where this side of the city is actually more vibrant 
than what's going to be on that side of the city, off off that way. So his should flow right into it, and then it should transition more to uh, a more slums type of area. Yeah, more of a post-apocalyptic vibe. Oops. It's gonna be it's gonna be so cool. I we didn't know. Joel and I had no idea that we were both going for like a cyberpunk vibe until it happened. A lot, a lot of times we don't talk to each other about our plans for our bases and the season and stuff until the season starts. I don't know why. It's just you know we all have our own thing going on and, and uh, kind of keep to ourselves, I guess. We don't have topic in the meeting where we're like, okay, so what is everyone's plans for the season? Maybe there's a, a concern that if you start telling people your plans, like somebody's going to be like, oh, I was going to do cyberpunk, right? I bring it up, you know, my plan is to build a cyberpunk city. And then Joel's like, oh, man, okay, I was going to do a cyberpunk, but if you're doing it, maybe I don't want to do it, you know. But no, in this case, it's, it's actually perfect because we can mesh our stuff together. And it's completely different what we're doing. And even then, even if we were doing the exact same thing, you know, we would probably do them differently because that's how that's how it works. His brain works differently than mine. Oh, right. We don't look. Hi, Prim. You've come in here a few times today. You've come in here a few times today. Are you? Are you? You good? <laughs> what did I say? Oh, no. Phrasing with what? wants to be picked up she's a little too big to be picking up <laughs> blue cat with 100 bits i'm a perfectionist we give skiz a break that's true that's true hello you guys did stuff while i wasn't looking cool <coughs> she's not letting me stop petting her <laughs> she will she won't leave my side look at this guy oh my goodness these villagers are so funny they look at him oh my goodness <laughs> the Atlantic Sailor, thank you for the 100 bits. Hey, Impulse, uh, could you wish my mom a happy birthday? She would be 48 today, and it would mean the world to my siblings if you could. Absolutely. Um, <laughs> there you go. Happy birthday for your mom. Mm -mm -mm. The derpy little one. There we go. There they go. Oh, look at the carrots flying. Look at the carrots flying. Oh, little dude's got him. Little dude's got him. Dang. Okay, I kind of want to grab. I kind of want to grab one of these guys to set up out here. I need a. I need like a cleric station, basically. Don't come out. Don't come out yet. We're not ready for you out here. Don't come out yet. Um, okay, so here's all the rotten flesh right here. Maybe I'll move this lava right here. It's not necessary, is it? We can trash things. Can we trash things in the cauldron? How hard is that? Um, if I put a trapdoor back there. Wait, if I put a trapdoor back there, will it still fill with lava? Oh, is it top of the hour? Thank you. Um... Okay, I have to do one extra step today to raise the desk. Thank you for the uh, desk over. Appreciate that. You guys keeping me on my on, on track of being able to stand up every hour on the hour. Um, I, I have a light that I have to push up. So one second. Let me do that. Give me one second. Okay, hopefully I push that up enough. Keep my eye on it. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. It's being pulled. No! Okay. Okay. I don't know if you guys can hear me, but stuff. This went badly. This went poorly. This went really poorly. What happened? Okay. Hold up. Oh, jeez. Okay. Everything's fine. The camera died. Okay, camera's back. Okay. All right, everything's fine. Okay. Don't worry. Little wire management issues. We're good? 
I'm good. <laughs> it pulled. Oh, I see what happened. Actually, it pulled one of the microphone cables from the podcast that I still had plugged in to the mixer. Okay, we're good. Yeah, standing up is easy. <laughs> my, my dog is just so worried about me today. <laughs> okay, I know, I know. Loud game. Okay, we're good. We're good. Everything is fine. Right? Still streaming and stuff? <laughs> Zombies are loud. There we go. How's that? <laughs> there you go. Sorry, they built up, didn't they? They built up. Blue Cat, thank you for the 100 bits. Can you watch the podcast on Glimpse? Wait, can you watch the podcast on Glimpse? How does that work? Oh, the pre pre podcast, the pre the pre podcast stream. You're talking about, yeah, they they get posted to uh, to Glimpse. So if you're supporting on Glimpse, um, I think it's for all supporters on Glimpse. I can't remember if we have uh, a set amount. Maybe one of the Glimpse peeps are uh, are here. It's the Impetus Glimpse one. We have two two different ones. Hmm. Anyway, but yeah, the videos are posted there. So you can always go back and like watch ones from before. Uh, I'm gonna put a trap door. Okay, so here was what I was asking. If we put the trap door here, will this still refill with lava? Do we know? I guess we'll keep our eye on that. Or that being there, does that now block it so that it doesn't fill with lava? Standing helps prevent leg clots. It's super important. Yeah, just sitting down all day. Uh, my back, ugh, my back usually doesn't like it. Sitting down all day, so. Oh no, no, our bin, bin ninja. It just proved you wrong. It proved you wrong, right in front of our eyes. That was amazing. Um, so now. Bop. Okay, now we got like a backboard. <laughs> Feel like I play basketball. Boop. In. Okay, so now we don't need this. Perfect. Yeah. Smooth. Kobe. <laughs> All right. Um, for this, Blaze, the little Blaze stand. The if he's standing on it, I think it'll work well. And then we can just trap door, block him in. Okay, I think we got I think we have a way. It's not super elegant, but it'll work. <laughs> we gotta clean all this up. Oh, I made a mess out of the, the waterfall. Feel a little bit bad about that. Yeah, we need a uh, potion brewing, a brewing stand. Yes, words hard, words are hard. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Does an observer detect when items burn in the lava cauldron? I don't, I doubt that. I seriously doubt that. I can't see why that would actually pick up because it's not a block state change at all. I would be, I would say I'm 99% sure that as an observer would not know when you throw something in a cauldron. Fox Shade, thank you so much for the 100 bits. How are the pushups going? Um, They're going well, although after yesterday's 54 push-ups that I did. Um, I started to feel a little bit of wear and tear in my shoulders, and I'm starting to worry if I'm going to make it to 100 or not. Um, it's just a lot. It's a lot every day, and uh, I think my my body's saying, "Hey, old dude, this is a little much." So <laughs> I'm getting a little bit nervous about it, to be honest. Uh, today I'm going to split them up into very small chunks probably 10 at a time and just do it every hour, you know, on the hour type thing. Yeah. And see if, if, if not doing so many in one go will allow me to not put so much strain on my, my muscles. We'll see. Okay. I need, hold on. I was thinking. Oh yeah. Good. We have some five sets of 20. Yeah. Once we get to a hundred, I'm definitely going to be doing five sets of 20. I don't think I don't think I'm going to be going 100 straight or anything like that. Um, we'll see. <laughs> Should do 10 now so I can be huffing and puffing on stream. <laughs> no, I'm good. I already did. 
I already did a set of 10 this morning, and uh, so I just have to do that like four more times plus a little bit. Actually, with 54, I should have done 11. 11, 11, 11, 11, and then 10. Something like that would have been nice. Okay, let's go. You do 75 push-ups straight. Congratulations. That's... I... I think I hit... So far, 25 straight is most of I've, as I've tried. And I don't think I got, I, have, I got muscle failure. I think it was more of just... I thought, like, I should probably leave it at that. <laughs> Alright, if we get him in here... We get him in here, and then we close this. I don't know if the villager will fit, actually. So we're going to have to get them in there first. And let's make sure there's nowhere they can go. Lock this guy up so they don't worry about those guys. Okay. Come on out. Hey, they made another baby. Nice. Wait a minute. How is that possible? There's only three ba- Congratulations! You had twins! <laughs> what? I'm so confused. Wait a minute. This doesn't make sense from a villager breeding standpoint. There's only three beds. How is there... Okay. All right. Well, okay. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. You both want to have the job, huh? That's not the job! Who do you think you are? There's your job right there. You want that job? You want that job? There you go. You get the... You got the job. You got the job. Well done. Ah, perfect. Yeah, settle in. You, on the other hand, I don't know what to do with you. I'm not sure what to do with you. Hmm. Get in the... Yes! Okay, perfect. Let's just storm over here for now. You will live a great life. You'll do great things. I promise you. Okay, now we have a way. <laughs> now we have a way. Sorry, guys. They're going to freak out. Wait, are they going to summon a golem? I guess if they see the zombies, they would. I turned down the game sound. You guys said the villagers were, or the zombies were too loud. Too, too low. You want me to turn it up a little bit? Okay. So now the idea is, let me dump some junk. Boop, 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 boop. He's going to lock up way too quick. I know it. Um, and, oh, let's keep repairing our pickaxe. Oh, it's expensive, right? Okay, that repaired our pickaxe. See, even another source of XP now. That's nice. That's nice. Probably need line of sight. Yeah, if there was a baby. Oh, well, there's a baby in there. Okay, they don't have line of sight to the babies either. They're fine. They're fine. Everything's going to be fine. Bing, 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 bing. 32 emeralds! Let's go! Break the cauldron. Oh, yeah, because he's got the job. Well, he, no, he already forgot it. He already forgot it. He's fine. Yes, source of redstone. That's part of it. Yes. Um, I need this redstone. So we just turn around straight away. Spend it. He, look, he looks happy! He's Mr. Trader. He's super happy. Um, there's a chance a baby zombie could get him, though, huh? That's all right. We'll just cure him if that happens. Oh, and glowstone. We can get glowstone. Kind of, kind of expensive, though. At least name him. What, sh what should we name him? That's twelve more observers. Twelve more observers down. Uh, this is great, though. Now we have a way to get rid of all of this, all of our stuff in here. That was the goal. We put all this in here for now. It takes it takes a little bit of maintenance here to keep this. That's good. Oh. <laughs> all right, fine. Since you guys can't let it, one little typo go. <laughs> uh, oh, you guys. Okay, okay, okay. I'll go get a name tag. You guys are the worst. You guys are the worst. 
<laughs> Kelf on the shelf. Oh, I think we'll just go Kelf. I think we'll just go Kelf. It's it's every time we do stuff like this on stream, the videos get weird. <laughs> uh, wait a minute. Do I not have a name tag? Yes, I do. Okay. That is not my junk chest. You saw nothing. <laughs> uh, just don't explain it. Yeah, I'm just going to have all these things that happen in videos that I don't explain. And guess what? Guess what? Remember our professional YouTube tip? Remember? You remember. We talked about it. What was our professional YouTube tip? Try to generate content comments, right? For the algorithm. Yeah. So then people are going to be like, why would you name him Kelf? Free comment. Okay. Mr. Kelf. Did I spell it right? Yes. <laughs> Engagement. Exactly. Did you reset yet? Perfect. Ah, oh, this is great. Free emeralds. Free emeralds. Oh. I don't need the XP, actually. I'm going to mend him. We love Kelf. Kelf is our best friend ever. Zarlark. <laughs> uh, Lark. Zarlark. Thank you so much. Storage is not safe if you forget to close the door. Yeah. You talk. Yeah, over there. I know. I never close the door. I think I think I, I probably should just have a button somewhere. <laughs> Because I, I never am carrying around chorus fruit. Um, do I want to? Yes, buy more redstone. Absolutely. So many observers to get. Put villager transporting time lapse in the next video. Yeah, I'll probably set it up with a little. And then I did this type of clip, you know. A little show and tell. Next video has already got too much content. It's got too much content. And I want to release tomorrow, actually. My goal is to release tomorrow. I think I can. Depends on how long I'm out to lunch today. And then we'll probably get more content from the stream tonight, I'm guessing. You know, I didn't know that uh, shovels could go in there, but they can. In case you didn't know. Okay. No such thing as too much. No such thing as too much content. We have so much content. Yes. We did so many things. You guys want to see? Um, I'll come back later. Just remind me to keep coming back for these trades. Let's go see how the kelp farm's doing. Oh my gosh. We have so much to trade. When are you going to unlock? All right. We'll let it be. Let's clean up our mess. I'm thinking I'm going to have to put a door here. All right, I don't know how to do this. I feel like these need to go and these need to go. How's that? One more. There we go. Ugh. Kind of. Yeah. Need to have a, some kind of thing at the bottom to stop the water. Don't forget to fill in Gem's hole. Off to the side of a river. You don't think she'll like it. And then the bridges, too. We gotta fix the bridges. Game sounds can go back up. A little pond at the bottom. Yeah, a little koi pond could be cool, right? Uh, lead it to the river. Yeah, river's kind of far, though. I see, though, that would make a lot of sense, right? If it flowed out to the river. Got to be careful around here. We've only got one layer of, of dirt before our farms. Okay. I was going to say, let's go on a boat ride, but I don't have it. Koi Pond's kind of cool. It, it doesn't make a lot of sense with the water flowing down constantly, you know? You'd want to feel like that's going somewhere infinite. 
I like that waterfall, though. Tough one. Pond leading to the river. Koi pond would be a good thing to add to mesh with Joel's base, too. Yeah. And just have a little canal out of that. Too loud? Okay. In case anybody tries to cross these bridges. Let's see. Skiz hasn't been on. He probably needs to <laughs> conserve his energy today. <laughs> Considering he's double streaming and still has shingles. I wonder at what point you can be like, yeah, I don't have shingles anymore. <laughs> Skiz's base is coming along. Yeah, that first layer is looking really good. I'm uh, super proud of my buddy getting into the, getting into the build process. Okay, yeah, we'll just plug it up. Uh oh. Just need to borrow a couple blocks. Is that good enough? Yeah. There we go. Very cool. So that cuts through to Ethos area, huh? That's nice. Two years later, and I still have Phantom. Itching and pain. Yes, it's like shingles never goes away, huh? I've heard that. I've heard that. Leave her boat there. Uh, her boat was a different boat. Plus, boats being left out and about are not exactly good for server lag, so... It probably wasn't meant to be there? Just accidentally left? I don't think she'll miss it, to be honest. All right, somebody slept. We'll go do one more trade with our villager. I think with the waterfall door, is there still a chance? Is there still a chance a zombie's gonna make its way in to this? Do you, do you think a zombie can do it? Do you think a zombie can make his way in to get to our villager? The witch made it in over there. I closed that up. So you're saying there's a chance. I closed that door up. I didn't like that door being there. Hmm. Could double carpet here. Triple carpet even. That's a thing. Okay, we'll do that. It's not super duper safe, but it's something. Yeah. The only way then a zombie would come in is if another zombie came up and pushed it. Right? So two zombies making their way through a water curtain. Berry bush and then carpet. I don't know if I have berry bushes. Oh! Did you see that little leg spike? I don't think I have berry bushes. Anybody have berry bushes? We might get elytras tonight. I'm not sure what the plan is. Potatoes. Jem probably has some. Right? Hmm. So the uh, a little bit of a trek just to do it, but here, I think I'm gonna dye some carpet. No, 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 no. <laughs> That's not what I wanted. That's what I wanted. Blend in with the stone a little bit. Let's go look and see if Jem has some. Where is Jem? She's not on. Let's go check Jem's storage. Etho definitely does. Tsunami Bear says nice hairstyle. Thank you. Thank you. I've been trying to, I've been trying to do a better job of keeping my hair shorter, getting haircuts more often. Ever since my wife broke her arm and, and then she didn't cut my hair for a while, I started going to a actual barber. <laughs> and uh, and then I just, I, I could tell that she didn't really, she actually kind of liked having that duty taken away from her. <laughs> so i just been going to get it cut now. Oh yeah, Gem's over here. Started going to Ethos. Whoa, oh, oh geez. Oh, Gem. Oh, Gem. Oh, Gem. Why does Jem always have to be doing so many stuff and things? Jem. Where's the conduit, Jem? Where's the... There it is. 
I said duty. <laughs> uh, Gem's always so busy. Is her video out? This is not... There's no berry bushes in here. Right? There was some spoilers. I did my best not to look at them as soon as I realized. Here we go. Just need one. Just need one, right? Okay, we don't look that way. We don't look back behind us. There's uh, pros and cons about living so close together. You can't build something and not get it spoiled before your video comes out. <laughs> That's from Joel. Uh, I might have to uninstall the free cam. I, I go to, I go to it too much. <laughs> I know. I know. It's just a habit. <laughs> it has become a crutch. Yeah. Because um, if I if I was back in the day, so I always justify it, right? Like, oh, well, we used to have our camera counts on all the time, and you just move your camera count over and do, the, and you get the same thing, just in more steps. But honestly, I wouldn't have taken the time to do that there, so that that was a little. Although, what would I, what else would I have done? Dug it up? Probably not. Fifty six. Don't look at. Don't side eye. Fifty-six. What kind of racket is this dude running? You're lucky we got. You're lucky I have too much. Okay. Fine. I have a lot. That's the only reason I'm doing this. This side eye. Did you see the side eye? Now it's 40. <laughs> it went down mid trade. I'll take it. Hey, look, Ender Pearls. Okay. Okay, this is what we're doing. So, we want. How's this work? First of all, can you plant these on anything or do I need dirt or something? Yeah, I need dirt. Ooh, give me that. Nice. Any dirt in here? Yes. Thank you. How many down? Did we just do that? And then that? And then carpet? And that's it? Okay. Easy. Easy, easy, easy. Bone mill, bone mill. Thank you, thank you. Bang, 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 bang. Uh oh. Okay. And then, bam. That'll do it, yeah? Quiet, guys. Quiet. Y'all need to be quiet. You loud. Y'all loud. See, it's a pain to keep these, keep these cleaned out. Dang. All right. Redstone, emeralds, always good. <laughs> Quiet outside. Is your sweeping edge hitting the villager in the minecart? Oh, no, no. But yeah, you're right. Let's get him a little further away. <laughs> Let's not risk it. Let's not risk it. <laughs> Spoiled by the uh, chest sorting mod. Yeah, I thought about that too. After playing Vault Hunters, it's like, oh man, there's such nice stuff. The JEI and stuff. Oh man. All right. What do we have in here? Efficiency five. This needs repaired or we need to get some mending. 
We could try for a mending villager, but I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm sure at some point in time somebody will sell mending books, right? Whoa! We got a five gift sub bomb from Violet Price One. Thank you so much. If you guys get gifted a sub, make sure you say thank you. Super kind. Super kind of you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we need to do the zombie cure thing for sure. That's easy, dude. There's zombies right there. We could do that. Dock for free? No. So there'll be shops popping up soon. I guarantee it. You'll, you, you guys will find out more about that soon. Teaser. Teaser. Okay. Another big hole. Okay, yeah. If you guys weren't watching Skiz's stream yesterday, uh, Skiz and I did this yesterday. Check it out. Well, I dug another big hole while Skiz was sleeping because that's what I do, and uh, we got it. And we made a kelp farm. Just one layer of it. One layer. And it's working fine, except for that bit right there. Hmm. I could waterlog. I could waterlog leaves or something right there. Yep. I'm glad we saw that. Waterlog leaves. Right there. Missing a kelp? No. Jeez, all the gift sub bombs. What is happening? Phoenix, thank you so much. <laughs> and uh, Bokuma, thank you for the gift sub. Thank you, thank you. No, we're all good. We're all good. Um, yeah, I think I will. I think I'll get. I'll get leaves. And we'll waterlog leaves so that stuff doesn't get caught in that little gap. I'm really glad we saw that before we built up more layers. Anyway, uh, so kelp farm. Uh, leaves don't spill water. Stairs will leave a gap, though. I'm a little bit worried about that. Leaves don't spill water out the sides. I thought that was just the mangrove roots. Does water stay inside the full leaf block? I guess we have to science. We gotta go science real quick now. Yeah, let's just do it real quick. Curious. We'll test it. It stays in. Hmm. Copper grates, do they have... Are they water loggable and the water spills out? I don't really want to use copper grates. That's going to get uh, crazy. Uh, Waterlogged chest would work, I suppose, but... I want something that's a full block to really make sure kelp doesn't get stuck. Hmm. <laughs> that is an amazing kelp farm, right? Oh my goodness. Nobody said no sleep. I don't think. Make sure. Truncate Venus, thank you for the gift sub. I'm worried that anything that has even a little bit of space, like a stair, will still... Kelp will find their way. Let's build a tree. Mm -mm -mm. I just want to try this. I'm curious now. I thought for sure that it spilled out, but I might be wrong. I might be wrong, and we're going to about to find out together for science. Hello? Big tree. I like these trees because we can stair step them as we harvest. Hello, Cal. 10 gift sub. Bomb. Cal, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, once we get up here, we'll have to shear them quickly. Quickly. In fact, I may end up using 
leaves instead of melons for the farm. I know, great stream content. Quick mouse movements. Bit rate dying. I used to hate cutting trees, but these ones, I can tolerate it. I can tolerate cutting two by twos. Sorry, sorry about the dizziness. Um, okay, here we go, we're gonna find out. Bang. Okay. Okay. Does not spill out. I thought there was a time when it did, and mangrove roots were the only ones that held the water, but here we are. Here we are. So I think our next best thing is to just use stairs. Probably the stairs. It leaks out on bedrock. Oh man, no, another difference in Java versus bedrock. No. No. Chests still have a little bit of a indent and stuff that they could catch you on. So I think I think the stairs is gonna be better. Upside down and backwards towards the piston. Probably will do it. Probably will do it. That's the first time I've ever seen that issue, so I I don't really know how much of an issue it is, but, uh, you know, it's nice to have lossless, isn't it? We really need it all. It's not stone. It's way more than I need. Okay. So I'm thinking... Let's see. As it pushes out, I really doubt. I doubt it would catch in that. Right? I doubt it would catch there. We'll find out. Keep our eye on it. Okay. Why not bamboo Y kelp? Bamboo is uh, not the most efficient fuel source. Bamboo takes two sticks, two bamboo, to smelt one item. Where kelp, what we can do with kelp is I'm leading all the kelp, and I did this yesterday. I'm leading all the kelp through here into these. I just have two right now set up. Honestly, honestly, it's only working with one. Yeah, see how the kelp's not full? But it's coming through here. It's smelting it into blocks or into dried kelp. Dried kelp is going into the crafter. Crafter's spitting it up this, this little dropper elevator into this line. It's coming through and it's filling up this hopper, which is the fuel to do more kelp smelterating so that it can just constantly have fuel for itself. And then once this fills up, it will move on to the next one, the next one, the next one, and then anything left will go in here. And that's what we'll use to cook our cactus. But the only way that's gonna happen is if our kelp farm is much, much bigger, much, much bigger. So our cactus farm is fine. In fact, it's, it's problematic already. <laughs> that we're not smelting the cactus already because it's backing up and yeah, probably creating some lag on the server. Yeah. Yeah. Whoops. Oopsies. <clears throat> Got to do something about that real soon. Real soon. <laughs> yeah. I mean, maybe... Maybe we should just be destroying it. Should we just start destroying it? Okay, we destroy it. I don't wanna I don't wanna cause server to lag. We're gonna destroy it. Let's fix it real quick. Feels bad. But we've got stacks on stacks of cactus already. Compost it for bone mill. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, not a bad idea. 
Free bone mill. We'll take it. If I could empty my pockets anymore, I would. Bang, bang, bang. Okay. Don't need that. And can we make composters from bamboo? They, they pretty much made everything so you can make it out of bamboo, right? Yes. Perfect. All right, we just need a couple hoppers then. Good shout. Cactus does go in, in these, right? I think. Gotta put the bike away real quick. All right, let's transfer as much as we can. Oh, man. My computer is freaking out. I think I have to do it, guys. <clears throat> I think I have to get a new computer. It's having so many issues. So many issues. It's one of those times where I bet an operating system reload would probably fix most of the problems, but you guys know how much of a hassle that is. Okay. So if I just slide a composter in between here, Yeah, but we got to get some of this out. Use the old uh, PC as a streaming box. Oh yeah, just make it a, its sole purpose in life is for streaming. Dual PC setup, maybe. All right, more composting needed. Are you bamboo? Thank you. I feel like bamboo is just free wood. Free wood. Four hours of work to save two grand, if not more. <laughs> uh, it's gonna be more than four hours of work. Uh, plus, here's the here's the here's the flaw in the logic anyway. New computer is means I'm reloading all my stuff anyway. <laughs> so yeah, there's a big flaw in the logic. The only real reason to get a new computer is to uh, have a new computer. <laughs> I serious though, I bet, you, I think Backrooms destroyed it. The Backrooms feels like it, I hadn't had any issues with USB ports or anything like that until Backrooms. Okay, and we get asked all the time, when are you guys gonna play Backrooms again? And I'm like, that game that basically destroyed my computer? Mm -hmm. I'm not in a hurry, if I'm honest. <laughs> it was fun though, really enjoyed the game. I just wish it didn't destroy my computer. Couldn't believe how hot my computer was. Okay. Okay, we shouldn't be getting cactus in. Okay, that's why. So much cactus. Skiz, we made a giant bone mill farm. Congratulations. <laughs> uh. <laughs> We're so good at this game. This is what it comes down to. <laughs> we could auto craft it into blocks. I get that, but ooh, this project better be done before it backs up that much with uh, bone mill. You guys know me, I wanted this project done for the video, for the episode that's coming out tomorrow. But uh, it's a little bit bigger of a project than a one week, a one weeker. Yeah, and we're not doing that this season. We're not trying to do crazy big projects per episode. There's a lot of other stuff that was going on during the week that's going to be in the video tomorrow. Don't necessarily need to have the XP bank fully up and running. Going to be eating good with the content this weekend, I think. 
Okay. There we go. It's coming in so fast, but I guess that's because there was a ton of cactus stacked up. Okay. That job's done. Let's make some observers and see where we're at with observers. We need a lot of cobble for that, don't we? Cobble and redstone, basically. Look, I went out and got some ice. Proud of me for that? Went out and got some ice? Yeah. That was fun. I didn't really record that because I was in a call with some other peeps. Just went on a little exploration. <laughs> nice ice. Thank you. Thank you. Glad you glad you like it. As far as what happened to our pistons and stuff, I don't know. Have you guys seen pistons in any of these chests? Mm -mm. Okay, we gotta make some pistons as well. I think we better go do some more trading for some redstone and go grab some supplies to make some pistons. Nice. <laughs> That's some nice ice. <laughs> and then we'll finally start the next layer now that it's an hour and 46 minutes into the stream. Oh, do we switch off of melons yet? I think we do. I think we do. I think we'll use the leaves instead. I'm afraid that we're going to not be able to get enough leaves, though. Is it your connection or your stream getting cut off? Anybody else having issues? I'm showing no drops on my bit rate. Need to go to sleep. Oh, no. Just got here. Do you know how many layers we're aiming for a total yet? Well, okay. So based off of this. No issues. Okay, great. Based off of this, watching this work. I've been watching this work like crazy. Uh, in fact, there's my... Here's, this is how I watch it work. <laughs> and uh, what we're seeing right now is it's doing a good job of collecting kelp blocks, right? But it's not keeping up on the incoming kelp. So this is slowly draining. So one layer is not enough for one smoker. The kelp blocks are what the, the main output that we want out of this thing but this needs to be overflowing all the time, basically. So I think it's gonna take two layers per smoker. And I would like to have at least four smokers going. So we're talking eight layers at least. So yeah, and then to be safe, maybe a couple extra would be good. But these are just so expensive is the issue. Like that's the main issue with this farm is the observers and the pistons are just so expensive, especially for this point in the game, when we don't have like a, a good amount of redstone in our pockets at all times. Did Jem watch you build the farm? I, I don't know. No, she she popped in a few times, but no, she didn't. This was uh, during Skiz's stream yesterday. From Kate Venus, thanks for the 100 bits. Silverwolf, thanks for the 100 bits. Almost missed you guys. Sorry it took me so long to notice. Thank you so much. Does cactus smoke or smelt? Um, I think you have to. I think you have to use a regular furnace for cactus. Take a peek at kelp, uh, Tango's kelp farm. I, I've seen it. It's the V. I, I've seen it. I've seen it. He has way less observers. Totally get that. Um, there are. There's an advantage to the way I did the kelp farm. It fires the pistons less often, and that was my main concern. Less pistons fire per kelp grow. Like, I, I get that you could do one observer and fire 15 pistons off at once. Um, and save on observers, but that's 15 pistons firing when only one was needed, or maybe a few were needed. This one, basically, as soon as kelp grows, one piston fires, and it's just le less lag. Can you use cactus as fuel? No. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, yeah, villager. Let's go get some more, more redstone. <laughs> we we are trying. The, the cyberpunk city is going to be laggy. There's no doubt about it. There's no doubt about it. So I'm just trying to, best I can, manage other areas of concern. It's not going to be... This is going to be the laggiest place ever. <laughs> and uh, hopefully you know, the rest of the server doesn't hate us too much. 
Ah, 40. 40. What if I buy the redstone first? Does that does that help? 30. Yes, it does help. It does help. I hate how when you don't have like one spot available, you can't do the the fast trade. <laughs> You're doing great things, Kelf. Can't believe I let you guys talk me to name them, Kelf. <laughs> Isn't there three pistons firing? Nope, just one. Just one. We can demonstrate when we get back there. Um, He's not going to reset again, is he? Are you? No. Oh, so much rotten flesh left. Okay, okay. Jeez. Rally guys. I don't need the pistons in here, did I? Nope. Revenant, thank you so much for the 100 bits. When you get the Cyberpunk City built, just charge five frames per second to run it. Eventually, you'll be lag free. Ah, <laughs> oh, Skiz took the pistons. Skiz! How dare you run off with our pistons? Yeah, maybe we need two clerics in there. Maybe we need two clerics in there. You might be right. That's free. Do I have any cobble in here? We're actually running low on cobble. I think I need to use my fortune more often. Oh, I don't want to talk about the flower farm. I haven't looked into that. <laughs> I know Doc has everything. It's okay. He, he, I don't want Doc's stuff. <laughs> I'm, I'm good at going this pace. The trading hall's begun. Now, now that there's two villagers in there, it's an officially in a trading hall. Great. No. Uh, iron? Shoot. Man. Okay, there's a lot of cobble in there. Great. That was good to see. Oh. <laughs> uh. That's it. From now on, I'm like quadruple checking my notification messages before they go out. Where's my horse? Did I leave it at the iron farm, maybe? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No. No. Tyler. Tyler, no! He's got to be by tangos. Got to be in the hole by tangos. All right, we'll go to our mission to get him in a minute. <laughs> free cam to find Tyler. <laughs> no, I'm getting too much hate for using free cam too much. Uh, pistons. Pistons? Jeez. Did you guys see that? That's what we like to call lag. Okay, 42 pistons, 58 observers. We're not going to be able to build much. There's definitely no redstone just chilling in here, is there? Oh, well, we'll get started. We'll get started. One more trade. Tyler must hate that hole. You saw him on stream yesterday. I had him this morning, actually. I'm pretty sure I rode him over to Tangles. Tangos. All right. Let's see how much we can build with what we got. We'll just do our best. Tangles. He's all tangled up over at Tangles. Tangles house. <laughs> uh -oh. The pistons do fire twice per growth, though, which kind of mm, I don't love. See, see it fired twice. Here, if we if we really watch. Let's watch. I wish it only fired once, but yeah. Bang, bang. But at least this is one piston firing and not like 15 at once. And the fact that we didn't do that V thing means this is way more space efficient as well. So I, I, I prefer this design personally. But to each their own, as they say. 
All right. Well, without more redstone, we're kind of we're kind of dealing with it. Should we try the leaves on this one? Let's try the leaves on this one. We'll save the, the melons. And then I need one more bucket of water. Put those back. Anything else we need? Thinking, 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 thinking. I think we're good. Okay, let's start building up the next layer, see how much we get. Is this my design? Um, it's something I saw Il Mango do in a Skyblock series. And I think he used leaves and I ended up using melons as, and then iron bars instead of uh, walls or something. Like, I, it's pretty much his, yeah. But it's pretty simple concept if you think about it. Uh, this is the part I was kind of concerned about. We have to get in here. Ooh, conduit actually might be nice. We got to get in here and face pistons downwards right here. Yeah, conduit would be really nice. And then when I get to the end, what am I going to do? Ooh. I have to like swim mode this to get out. I guess that's okay. We can swim mode. I was so curious to see what it was going to be like building the second layer. So if we swim mode, yeah, we're good. Okay. So that's where the next set of kelp will go. And then these will be leaves, right? Because iron bars also don't attach to leaves. I guess my main concern was, are they going to like waterlog or anything weird? So this is where the next kelp will, will grow. And then we take these observer signals. So as the kelp grows, that observer gets a signal. This sees that it got a signal, transfers that signal backwards, and then up. Observing that. And then that goes right into the piston. And only one fires. Uh, will that power the piston below? Oh. Ooh. It's going to power that block. Interesting. Hold on. Let's find out. We're going to do a little science. You guys, keep your eye on that piston down below if you can. It does. It does. <laughs> that makes sense. There's some quasi connectivity here because this is powering this block right here, which is diagonal, right? Hmm. We got enough room that we could do a space in between layers if we want to prevent that. But yeah, then the question is, does it matter? Uh, if you remove the block and it powers air, I feel like it still does it. Let's find out. We won't be able to do that everywhere, though. Okay, air doesn't do it. Air doesn't do it, but we're not going to have that luxury on this side anyway. It, only the two ends are going to be able to have the air blocks in between. <clears throat> so, I mean, we could do that at least then half the farm. Not even half the farm. It's basically one third of the farm won't have the underneath piss and firing for no reason. Ooh, gotta think about it. Gotta think about it. How much do we care? How much do we care? How much do we care, chat? We leave one space, we reduce lag. This means you can use less observers. One row for two levels. Oh, okay, so don't obs <laughs> you're saying don't even bother observing these bottom ones because when these grow, it's going to do the bottom as well. But then you do have kelp that's just grown and sitting there. Ooh. I just had the big lag speech about preventing lag, right? And here I'm here I'm debating whether or not it's okay to have a little extra lag. We have plenty of space. I'm not we're not taking this all the way up there. So space is definitely not an issue. I think we got to do the right thing. 
I think we gotta do the right thing. I think we gotta leave a space. Layer of leaves. That's a lot of leaves. I was actually gonna go for glass. <laughs> like that's any better. Um, hmm. I gotta get these without them going into the system. I guess I'll I'll be able to catch it. Yeah, we only wanted ten layers anyway. So the fact that they're gonna be four high instead of three high tiles. It's not a big deal. Well, we're going to need a lot of leaves. Can I just go deforest somewhere? Do you think? Can we just go find a forest off in the remote, in a remote area and just deforest it? Just like de-leave it? That would be the most efficient way for us to get leaves right now. <laughs> I'm going to be that guy. <laughs> a tango's going to pop in. Oh, you know, you can't just deforest random places. Uh, my concern is that no matter where I go, it's going to be problematic. You know what I mean? There we go. Nothing went in there, did it? Perfect. Okay. Hmm. I'll put this stuff away. I'll bring a bunch of iron. I'll bring a bunch of iron blocks with me so that we can make more shears. Yeah, this is where I wish I had a shulker box already. Maybe after tonight. I don't know what the plan is for the, the stream tonight, but I think I might be in favor of some NCD raiding shulker boxes. Or I know Tango wants some shulker boxes too, so it might be on the docket. Put the iron away though. Okay, let's go find the horse. Let's go see what we can deforest. We're not building much of a kelp farm today, are we? Or kelp farm at all. Top of the hour again. I get to sit down. Yay. I'm, like, I'm just going to pull over. I'm going to pull over. <laughs> uh, That light's going to stay up there. All right. Hold on. I'm going to sit down. One second. Maybe this time it won't be a disaster. Yeah, it already is. Forehead stream. Oh. Could do an ender chest. Get some extra stuff. Oops. How do we end up unpausing or unmuting? Whoa, I feel like I'm so high up now. I feel like I'm so high up. Would it be cheaper to use the observer with a piston on top with the dust behind it uh, and note blocks in between? Uh, no, note blocks don't get powered. Uh, hold on. I, I, mm, I don't know how to, how to explain this without going down there with free cam. Uh, note blocks, there's no powering going on, right? With this setup, this is getting observed. Every time it grows, that observer goes off. That's powering straight down. So in order to get that signal to loop up, there's nowhere where a note block can actually take power in. You just, I know what you're thinking of. You're thinking of when the observer's facing out and the kelp grows up in front of it and then you power the piston below it. Different design. Yeah, but the observer would push a signal to the dust on top of the note block. The observer would push a signal to the note uh, on top of the note block. Um... You mean if we had a gap in here? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> Unless I'm completely missing out on something here. Um, okay, let's go find the horse. We're gonna have to go far before I'm comfortable cutting down forests. I'm um, thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Just trying to think of the map, the Hermitcraft map, and where people are going to be expanding to in the future. We have like a a northwest expansion <laughs> area. There's places reserved. 
how much do you guys know about our our layout for the season? Has it been told what like the different districts and stuff are? Okay, cool. <laughs> then I keep my mouth shut. <laughs> All right. I'll tell you this much. We have designated areas of the map for certain things. What those areas are going to be is to be announced at a later date and time. One which, one of which, will get announced tomorrow. Haha, -ha, there you go. That's all I'm giving. That's all I'm giving. That's all you get. Hey, there's my horse. I knew you were here. Doing great things. Um, go this way. I should have brought a bed. Anybody gonna? They're gonna sleep, right? Tango has told us future shopping district. Okay. Look at Ethos. Place looking amazing, man. I love the way Etho builds. So organic. <laughs> they won't miss all these leaves here, right? <laughs> Just deforest all these leaves here. I gotta go far. Who won demise? You don't know. You don't know who won demise. I'll give you a hint. She's streaming right now. <laughs> I mean, that video's been out for a week, hasn't it? That was a pretty good hint. If you ask me. Good luck cracking that code. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is why I used to hate riding horses. What was the prize? Oh, that you will find out in due time. And by due time, I mean tomorrow. <laughs> Tomorrow's a big day, guys. Lots of stuff. Lots of stuff happening tomorrow. Hey, get your stack snacks ready. Make sure you get a good night's sleep. Oh, I didn't know we had a ice mountain right here. Whoa, this is cool. Any weekend plans? I have to get my taxes done. I have to get my taxes done, unfortunately. I have no choice. Um, unless I file for an extension, which I don't want to have to do. So, yeah. Fun. But I'm going to do my best to get the video done today so you guys can watch it tomorrow. And then I can have that uh, that day or two that I'm going to need to finish my, my taxes. I hate it. I hate it. I started doing my taxes the other night. And uh, I got through maybe a fifth of what I need to get through in an hour. So I'm probably got a good five hours plus... You know, that's just to just to get it documented. Oh, there's a wall here. Okay. There's a wall here. Uh, let's follow the wall. Nobody's going to miss stuff up against the wall, right? Oh, no. Come on, horse. You can't do it. This train is terrible. This train is the worst. I don't think we can. Uh, ow! I don't think we can do it. Come on, Tyler. Big jumps. Big jumps, Tyler. Big jumps. He's a terrible jumper. Oh, Tyler, this place is not cool, man. Oh, this is a. Oh, we're just going to deforest right here. Hey, Tyler. We had no choice, we were stuck. Tyler. He's the worst. <laughs> we really didn't go out of our way to, to get a good horse, did we? First horse we saw, we're like, yep. That's the one. Ooh. Sometimes it's lag. I think I'm caught on a tree, but it's just lag. Come on, Tyler. You can do it. Big jumps. Big jumps. Show them what you got. Show them what you got. Here you go. There you did it. 
Well done. Ooh, cornflowers. Huh. 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 It's cornflower paradise. Look at how many cornflowers there are. What if I just come over here and make a flower farm right here? Look at this. Okay, hold on. We'll be back. <laughs> Look at this place. Oh my, I've never, what a biome is this? Meadows. <laughs> wow, okay, okay, okay. Uh, Can I claim this place? What if I deforest and claim this place? Mine, mine. I don't think we're supposed to have stuff out here, to be honest, but this is okay. They'll be okay. Can't see what I'm doing. Are you in? Nope, you weren't in. Ah! Tyler, I'm sorry! I'm really sorry! First, I tell him he's a terrible jumper, and then I punch him. <laughs> if your horse crosses the border, he's lost forever. Oh, I know. Don't go across the border, okay? Okay? Okay, pumpkin. Guess we're going oak. I don't really care what leaves we use, to be honest. Nobody's ever going to see them. <laughs> oh, we're doing it. I'm waiting for Tango. What's the noise when Tango pops in? Wait, that's not it. I can't do it. There we go. That was pretty good. <laughs> Perfect. Ah, uh, you know, deforesting the, the forest and Harmacraft is against the rules. Uh oh. Good old Daddy Tango keeping us in line. Well, mainly skills. <laughs> Skiz bit to summon him, summons him. Yeah, yeah, he's misusing it now. Skiz is misusing it now. He used it just to get Tango to come over for the testing something. <laughs> that was good. That was that was pretty funny. Got to give it to Skiz. He's he's got some good stuff, good ideas. Mm -mm -mm. I'm a lumberjack now. You guys know me. I hate cutting down trees. Hate it. Tree harvesting is my least favorite thing to do in Minecraft. I would rather dig terracotta and sand than harvest trees. And that's saying something. <laughs> All caps. She angry. <laughs> All caps. <laughs> oh my gosh. Are they having some problems in the neighborhood? The neighborhood folk already going to be on the next episode of Fear Thy Neighbor. <laughs> Fear Thy Neighbor, Hermitcraft edition. Oh, I love it. Anybody know what show I'm talking about? Anybody seen that show? Oh man, that show is crazy. Fear thy neighbor. That show got me all sorts of twisted. Oh my goodness. I'm like actually in fear of, of my neighbors now. Every time my dog barks, I think my neighbor's gonna murder me because of that show. <laughs> Criminal Minds, Hermitcraft Edition. <laughs> Should do a parody of the Alaskan Bush people. <laughs> oh. Who would play what characters? I don't know the show well enough. So you'd have to tell me. Who would play what characters? I won't even know who you're talking about, but chat will. 
go for it. Starring as blah 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 Azuma. I said blah 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 because I can't even I don't even know one single name. Need to catch up on Criminal Minds. Okay, okay. Like I do like those kind of shows. Even though they uh mess my, mess me up, mess up my mind. Oh little dude. Why are Shears so weak? Because uh, I don't have Ed Sheeran anymore. Remember Ed Sheeran last season? Oh, my awesome set of Shears. I don't know if they're weak. I think that they just they just cut through so much stuff so fast that it's easy to, to use them up. I will cut down the trees. I won't leave floating trees, guys. We will be somewhat good here. Look at that. I already got a decent amount. It's going to take a lot, though. Especially if we're putting a full layer of leaves in between. I think this might be the spot. This might be the spot. Silco is pretty good. Yeah. Shears are just cheap. Well, I guess so. I guess a hoe is also. But then you gotta put silk touch on it? Yeah. Never mind. I can just make these and they go just as fast, so. Oh, leave a little bit. Do one block. Trouble in the neighborhood, guys. It's a little too early in the season for a war to be brewing, though. Come on, now. Fear thy neighbor. <laughs> I mean, don't mess with false. We've seen what she's capable of. Skiz announced his schedule for today on X. Okay, cool. So he did announce that he's going to be doing Phasma with uh, Jimmy and Green and Scar. Don't remind me. My FOMO is bad. My FOMO is kicking in. Um, that's going to start about an hour after I end. I'll end at noon my time. And I think they're starting at 1 o'clock my time. I say my time because I'm on a weird time zone now. Mountain time. Sorry, mountain time's weird. Not used to being on it. It's going to change again soon though. March is coming, right? Changes in March. You ready for another daylight savings switch over, guys? All of you daylight savings people. I don't do it, but I get affected by it. <laughs> MST's the best time. I do live in the West. Yes. I live in Arizona. Arizona doesn't do daylight savings time. So every, every like six months we have like our time zone switch. So I can no longer say I'm on PST. I have to say I'm on MST or MDT. I don't even know. Time zones are weird. But most people I think would rather have time zones. At least if you're in the US, you'd rather hear Eastern or Pacific. Everything in between, most people don't relate to, feels like. I don't know how we ended up with six grass. <laughs> I'm not saying people don't live in those time zones. I'm saying like when you, when you like tweet about a time zone, those aren't typically ones that are included. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Made a little bit of mess of these guys. Might as well finish them off. We gotta come back to this area. Maybe I won't make the flower farm where I was gonna make it. I'll make it over here and just come and run it for like a few nights and then just be done for the season. You know? Does that feel weird? You've lived in all four US time zones. Holy smokes. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
blue dye forever. Yeah, just come here and, and like really stock it up and just let it go to town and then I'm done. Yeah, temp farm. And then vanish in the night like I was never here. Can't get in trouble if they can't catch me, right? Actually, I think I'm far enough away that this isn't even designated for anything. Probably fine. We're getting real strict now. I'm going to get banned from Hermitcraft. <laughs> and... Okay. That should be enough for now. Well done. Thanks, that. Thanks, everybody. We had a little side trek there. Worth it. Worth it. Horse. Off we go. Anybody remember how to get back? <laughs> Over the trees. Yeah, careful. Didn't even take damage. What a stud. What a stallion. What a stallion he is. <laughs> Over the mountain and through the woods. Look at the cherry blossoms up on an icy mountain. That's kind of cool. I don't even know how that's a thing. How often does the world border expand when updates come out? So, yeah, there's a world border just yonder. And when an update comes out that has new terrain, we'll... Drop the border and, and expand that way to get a taste of the new stuff. So what does that tell you about this season? Anything? Does that tell you anything about the season? We're expecting it to go long enough for updates to come out whilst the season is still in session? Eh? 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 Just like my triple digit episode numbering last season told you something? Told you that I definitely wasn't going to get to 100 episodes. Because <laughs> it didn't. <laughs> yeah, trial chambers. Yeah, coming. <laughs> the season's short, I said so. Oh, man. Somebody, somebody th thought I was serious and put that on Reddit that I said that. Sorry if you're here and you were that person. Didn't see my sarcastic smirk. What the heck? Should have kept those shears. I didn't know I was going to need them. Why can't I get out of here? Come on, Tyler. We, we've chosen the wrong way to go. I always feel bad when my, my sarcasm doesn't get caught. And I, <laughs> I get them. I get them. Okay, Cubs Farm. Dang, Cubs Iron Farm is massive. Massive. So we got the um, Bobby mod, which helps us see stuff from far away. And I love it. Look at that. Like, we can literally see... Uh, is that... That's pearls? From here? Wait, no, that's ethos, isn't it? Ethos. Yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> Should I do a, every time I'm sarcastic, like, at least do some sort of, like, audible thing that says I'm being sarcastic so people don't fall for it? Ah, we like spreading gossip. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. You can't do it. I don't know why so many people like horses so much. Oh. Okay, good. Now we should have paths. Uh, what's he saying? I thought he was going to restart the server. Tone indicators, yeah. <laughs> Slash SRS. Is that it? For serious? Slash. What's the sarcasm? Tone indicator. I'll free up some resources. Enjoy the CPU cycles. Okay. 
Server's lagging. Everybody disconnect. That'll solve it. <laughs> slash sarcasm. Oh, J slash J for joking or SRS for serious. That's what it is. Oh, there is no sarcasm one. There's no sarcastic one, huh? J joking. Sarcasm slash S. Oh, okay. There's one. Okay. Okay, cool. Tone tags. That's, I always forget the name of them. I'll bring the wood down with me. Why not? Hey, remember that thing that we said we were going to do today? What was it? I think I titled the stream. I might have even sent a notification that was perfectly spelled right. Slash S. And... I'm just gonna verbalize it. <laughs> maybe we do that thing now. And maybe I recognize people for being amazing and dropping bits in the house. So see, maybe we do that. Maybe we take a second. Maybe we take just one second. Here. Here you go. Since you guys love it when I go free camp so much. Um holy smokes. How much stuff did I miss? Suncast with the 500 bits. Just joined. It's 34 minutes ago. <laughs> What's going on today? How you doing? Uh, we're supposed to be building up this kelp farm, but we are so messed up on uh, resources. We don't have enough stuffs. We don't have enough redstone to be to be uh, blunt. Uh, that's what we're missing. But we're going to try to build up another little bit of this, whatever we can. Right now. Finally. Monate, thanks for the 500 bits. I don't understand redstone, but I enjoy watching y'all build farms in different ways. It's like watching builders make different houses, except resources pop out. <laughs> yes, yes. We like the free resources. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, and it's good to do things different. You know, I could have gone to Tango's and been like, okay, I'm just going to do that. But then you guys would see the same farm again. It's kind of nice to see different variations of uh, and different ways to, to do things, right? <coughs> and Monate, again, being amazing with a thousand bits. There's a mangrove grove swamp by the mining desert. If you get rid of those leaves, the builders will appreciate you making... The wood less painful to acquire. Oh, yeah. Nobody cares if you strip the mangrove stuff because it sucks to harvest, right? Okay. That's a thought. Too late now. Uh, sorry, I missed that message 24 minutes ago. Thank you. D Wood, thank you for the 100 bits. I know you and the other, other hermits probably hear this often, but you all inspired you all inspired a group of friends and myself to start a multiplayer server. And it's the most fun I've ever had in Minecraft since I started playing in 2012. Amazing! I do love hearing that. I can't hear that enough. I can't hear that enough. I always love hearing, um, especially when we start new seasons, people getting like reinvigorated to play Minecraft again. And I think that happens with the Hermits as well. Is uh, It's just, it's fun to have the challenge of building something from ground up again. And now incorporating all the knowledge and stuff that you learned from the last season and the seasons before and trying to do things differently and finding new ways, new challenges, you know, and shaking things up. You guys are going to find out tomorrow there's going to be a pretty good shakeup for this season. Can't wait for you guys to hear about it. NJ with 100 bits says, Joe needs his area torn down and might want help with all the leaves. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. He's on now. Oops. <laughs> Sorry, NJ. <laughs> Next time I need leaves, which I will. Uh, I will see if he wants me to do that. Deforest for him. For sure. Thanks for letting me know. Tiny Toby, thanks for the 200 bits. Uh, the more I see of this season, the more excited I get. Season reminds me of season six. It was my first season. I started watching in 2019. Still, and it's still my favorite. Can't wait to see what happens. Season six was 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 awesome. Was awesome. And yeah, I'm getting a lot of the same vibes as season six. I don't know if it's because of the new people or the uh, the push to be more communal and more collaborative. But uh, yeah, it has been a it has been a, a really cool vibe this season. I'm just having so much fun playing Minecraft again. That's the problem, guys. I'm having fun playing Minecraft. I don't like to stop playing Minecraft. <laughs> to edit. <laughs> I don't like editing. <laughs> As Doc would say. Don Sasu, thanks for the 100 bits. But I don't know if I can give it up to an editor. I know I know. there's probably some uh, peeps in chat that are like, I'll, I'll gladly edit your videos, you know? And I have my, I do have a, some editors that I've used in the past. And... I don't, I never, I never have had Hermitcraft episodes edited by someone else. It's always got my own personal touch on it. And I kind of take pride in that. Um, 
even though I'd rather be playing than editing. Um, there's just something about Hermitcraft being mine. You know what I mean? But it's been on my mind. It's been on, it's definitely been on my mind. I'm not saying it's never gonna happen. Oh, I said there's gonna be a shakeup. Oops. Oops. Oh, you guys excited for tomorrow now? Have I have I hyped it enough? I think I'll try to keep track of how many stacks I use for this. I've used one. Love that you're enjoying playing and it honestly shows. Thank you. Oh. Yeah, it's so much fun. I think it's the FOMO that kicks in when I'm editing, just not being on the server. Like, what's going on on the server that I'm missing because I'm spending time in my editor editing program? Mm -mm. Don't cover the middle. Ooh, yep. Yep, 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 yep. Thank you. Thank you. I would have learned that the hard way. Luckily, this is easy to fix. Except they're gonna go in the system. Did I get them? Did I get them? Did I get them? It was just the one that we covered. Yeah, cool. We'll have to go check that hopper after this is over. Mm -mm -mm. Gonna be dark in here a little bit though. Kelp doesn't, yeah, kelp doesn't care about light. If you think about kelp, like it grows at the bottom of the ocean where there's no light. So, oh, okay. <laughs> so yeah, it makes sense that it doesn't need light, right? FOMO is the reason I probably won't get any sleep tonight. Oh no. Oh no. Get some sleep. There'll be plenty of uh all, all your answers, all your questions will be answered tomorrow, I suppose. I'm sure there'll be a few hermits that, that are releasing tomorrow. I, I really gotta I'm hoping to release as long as everything goes good with my editing this afternoon. I'm hoping mine will be out. I was pushing myself maybe a little too hard to have this XP bank done. But then once I found out we didn't really have the resources for it, uh, I was like, yeah, okay, never mind. I'm not going to make the whole point of my video. Like, we built two mega farms and an XP bank. Not the vibe. Not the vibe of the season. Victors Crowley, thank you so much for the 500 bits. Uh, hey, hope you slept well. Just want to let you know that I, I had the podcast on in the background and my po productivity skyrocketed. Uh, game will be done in no time. Amazing. I'm glad. I'm glad to hear that. Thank you so much. Glad you got a chance to listen to the podcast today. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, yeah, we're having we're having such fun making the podcast. So the fact that you guys are enjoying the podcast is uh, amazing. A little server lag there. That was awesome. And yes, sleep well. I did. I did. I slept pretty well last night then just trying to go to bed a little earlier I did I did actually like sleep until my alarm went off did I do these middle ones I can uh it's kind of weird it's so dark in here right can't put these down <laughs> we can put them on walls I suppose well that wall is gonna get covered yeah, just been trying to go to bed earlier instead of staying up till, you know, 11 o'clock or so. I try to go to bed at like, I try to go to bed at like 9.30. I know that's like so early, but usually that means I'll be asleep by 10, 10.30 and then I get a good enough amount at that point. Yeah, I think I'm going to cover up the gap. Pretty much going to use leaves throughout now instead of melons anyway. Okay. Okay. Finally. Oh no. <laughs> oh. I just realized something bad. <laughs> what time do I get up? 6 a.m. 6 a.m. That's why I try to go to bed early. 
Uh, sometimes I get up at 4 a.m. When I, when I have insomnia, which I did for a couple weeks there. Call the Magic Dragon, thanks for the 200 bits. Yeah, I just realized something. Um, we have to face those observers, right? <sighs> Mistakes were made. So let's let's build one cell here, and then you guys will see what I'm on about. Let's grab those before it's a problem. Oh, I can't get out now. Good stuff. Good stuff. Don't go in the system. Ah, it's pushing me. Help me. What we need to do is face observers down right there. And then put the leaves in. How's that going to work? I guess it doesn't have to be in. <sighs> I wish. I wish I could just rotate him with the wrench. Oh, uh, we talked about it. The hermits did. We talked about it like, hey, is the wrench something that we're interested in implementing? And it was just kind of like, oh, we've already got so many things that are are like non-vanilla at this point that it felt like that was definitely pushing it a little too far outside the vanilla gameplay. So we decided not to do that as a group. It's one of those weird things. It's like, where do you draw the line? Because <laughs> we have a lot of stuff that's non-vanilla. The custom audio discs and textures and stuff. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Vanilla adjacent. Yeah, we try to keep it somewhat, right? All right, let's see what happens now. The idea is that we gotta get these piss these observers facing down, right? Hey! <laughs> Kelp grew right right when I came in. I'm gonna die. Because I have no way out. Is that it? Did I just place eight? I guess. Okay, that's not too bad. The qu the problem is. I guess what I could do is when I'm done. Putting the observers facing down. I could just come back and fill in underneath like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, I guess that wasn't too bad. It's just a matter of getting this system down. And I do want to double check something real quick. Once we build this one. So, okay, I'm trying to, I'm still trying to think about this note block idea. I think you were thinking here, redstone dust note block, but that's not, we put the piston right there. Yeah, I don't see how, unless we went back one more, which I don't wanna do. Obviously this is tight, uh, but let's test this real quick. Let's make sure, I don't know if we'd see it or not. I didn't see yeah, that didn't fire down there. We're good. And that did fire up there, right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> that lag just punched me in the face. Okay, this will be good. So, yeah, we do unfortunately have to add this layer of leaves in between. Could have done anything, really. Leaves are cheap enough. Torch was stopping me from placing the block, I think. Maybe I'm wrong. Something was being a struggle. What enchantments on my sword? Sharpness five, knockback two, unbreaking three, looting three, mending. Ooh, I could use some sweeping edge on that guy. I'm not sure it's gonna let me though. I think I've already put too much on my sword that it's gonna be like, nope. No soup for you. What is this hole doing here? Strange. Chamber of Mending is super duper secret. Nobody knows how to get in it. <laughs> yeah, my my Chamber of Mending. Yeah, that's what I need. Just like Green's uh, Cod Chamber, right? That's what we need. I'm gonna take this. If I turn on Gamma, are you guys gonna yell at me? No, nah, I guess we don't need it. We're good. 
Some more hate. Hey, that's cheating noises going off. Uh, let's see this. And then brought the bars good. <laughs> hey, that's cheating. Oh, they don't connect. Oh. <gasps> Okay, okay, these have to be glass right here. Ooh. We're learning. Yeah, we need those bars to connect. I see my lights changing. Uh oh, there that goes. Mm -mm -mm. Thank you so much for the 100 bits, Master Zora. Couldn't you put a note block in the corner instead of an observer? No. No, because, yeah. Um, because the note block has to get powered in order for this to read it, right? And this is powering down. See? The only reason the signal's even going up is because it's observing the, ch this is observing the change in this, and that's observing the change in this, and then that signal's going up to the piston, so no. Nope. Would be nice. Would be nice if we could cut down on observers because geez. Geez. So many. And now so many leaves. This is all. Okay, that's going to be. Nope. Another one of these. Oh my gosh. So many leaves. I don't feel like this is right. I feel like we just did something wrong, but I think it's not. I think it's perfect. Okay, so I forgot my bamboo stairs. My apologies. But this is what it shall look like. Okay, we framed that one. Let's get down. Let's get down. This is the Kelf farm. Yes. No, actually, you spelled it correctly. Thank you. Thank you for not mocking me. Everyone that, that mocked me earlier, I've hurt. they've hurt my feelings so much, and I can't wait to cry myself to sleep tonight. He cried himself to sleep tonight at his big old pillow. <laughs> Check the bone mills, you're curious. Yeah, look at it go. Almost a stack. Not bad. <laughs> and maybe if I cry myself to sleep, I'll, I'll uh, sleep better and I won't have insomnia. There you go. Silver lining. Silver lining. <laughs> uh, where's my extra water bucket? Thank you. <laughs> How do you stream so long so often? Well, it's my job. And I love it. Oh. So, piston fired, pushed it into the leaves. Oh, I threw it. Okay. <laughs> okay. I emptied my pockets. Oh, <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. So, just so that doesn't happen again. Maybe, maybe next time I, I, uh, oops, oops, I'm all the wrong buttons. Maybe next time I put it in the system. It's like, Houston, we have a problem. Thanks, guys. Thanks for keeping me honest. Appreciate it. Okay, that goes there. And then this one, we did like that now. That's new. Uh, of course. Oh, I think I kind of need to build two cells at once. Yeah, I got to build the other cell. Because once I put water in here, it's going to spill. I don't really want to make a mess. Okay, we got we to gotta do another one. Uh-oh. I think I just broke the kelp. And the kelp's gone. Oh. Remember that time I had that one piece of kelp? It was just chilling. Those were the days. Those were really the days. We were good at the good at the game. Holy smokes. Wicked Nush, thank you so much for the 10 gifts of bomb. Appreciate it. I thought the stairs were facing away from the pistons, no? I thought they were. Sorry, I need to borrow these. 
あこれはい。No composters on the hoppers, not yet. The system's not done. I'm just, I'm, I'm, it's, it's work in progress, okay? Jay Harvey, thank you so much for the thousand bits. You're amazing. Thank you. I could have sworn we faced the stairs away from the piston, not towards it. Did we? Was it the other way, guys? <gasps> Come on, man. Oh. <laughs> Was it the other way? Am I misremembering what we did earlier? Because then the hole, the hole in the stairs would be closer to this side. So maybe that is better. Usually wakes up at like 2 p.m. I know, right? It feels early for him. Okay. He's going to end up in the system. And I'm going to fix that kelp. Which one? Bang. There you go. All right. Observer's facing down. At this layer right here. Okay. Uh, uh, oh, I need dub strider boots or something. Did I get this right? Did I get this right? I hope so. Yeah, because there's layer. Uh, yeah. Okay, we're good. I'm not gonna die. I'm not gonna die. Wait. Okay, we're good. <laughs> this is a bit challenging. Uh oh, do I have enough? Yeah, I got enough for this one slice. The stair was flipped the other way. I don't think it'll matter too much, but just for consistency's sake would be nice to to know. I'll uh, I'll take a look. I'll take a look. Yeah, I don't think it's going to make much difference to be honest. Such a pain. Oh man, yeah, the wrench would be super nice. The wrench would be amazing. Um, okay, so if we take a look at the stairs that we did here, yeah, yeah, we faced them away. So basically the hole is down against the pistons, which is exactly what we did there. So we're okay. Uh, is Tweakaroo not allowed? Uh, kind of. I mean, Tweakaroo is allowed, but using it to do the flipping and stuff feels kind of... Feels kind of bad against our, well, we don't have rules per se, I guess, but yeah, I guess we do. <laughs> It'd be frowned upon, I think. We'll do things the vanilla way. Okay. Okay, we gotta fill that with water, gotta fill that with water. Okay, so now it's just water fillage and iron bars. Iron bars. A lot of iron bars. This farm is definitely taking a lot longer than the cactus farm. <laughs> guidelines, yeah, it's not rules. Guidelines. We like to we like to try to keep things somewhat vanilla, I know. Uh oh. <laughs> what group? Hold on, I gotta see. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, stare over here. Okay. Water log and then kelp and then the first, this layer is done. Uh, I think they're working on the post office, the mail delivery system. That, that project is so cool. I'm jealous. I have some FOMO <laughs> not being involved in that project, but we got a lot going on anyway. 
And Tango and Etho are going to be doing super cool stuff with it. Okay. So if I go, I'll go on this side first. There. And there. Now we got an infinite source there. Bang, bang, bang. Oop. Nope. That was too far. And we'll log that. And that. Okay, and then we log this. Ugh. I feel like we made a mess. Did we make a mess? We did make a mess. Stupid bars, whoops. It's okay. I don't think I broke anything. Oh, whoops. Hold on, did we break anything? No, nah, it's fine. Everything is fine. It's all covered. All right, we're good. <laughs> okay. Plant the kelp. Ow. <laughs> test it. This also tests the system. You don't want to go too fast because you got to let the water refill itself. The piston takes out a water source in front of it, and that's why we have water sources to the right and left that fix it, and even if two go off at the same time, eventually the kelp will grow up and fix itself. It's a pretty cool system. Okay, one more, well, two cells really done, and we only have 13 reservers left. We gotta go trade some more redstone. Gotta go trade some redstone. This is expensive. Jeez. How many layers did we say we're gonna do? We got a raid coming in. Joel Duggan in the house. Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome, raiders. Welcome, welcome. Eagle, thanks for the 100 bits. Upbeat Killer, thanks for the 100 bits. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome, welcome, guys. Uh, we're just upscaling our kelp farm, which, oh, that just grew right there. That just grew right there. We missed it. I would like to make sure it's good. I think it's good. I think it's fine. All right. Oh, we missed it again. Okay, it's fine. Let's go make sure this system's all good. I forgot what we said. How many we said? 10 or something, right? Did we say 10? Are we getting crazy? There they are. Okay. And this is almost full. So what's going to happen is once this is full, it's going to move on to the next one, fill it up, and then fill it up. And then, yeah, I don't even think we should be smelting kelp yet on the second one. Because this one's not even keeping up. Maybe now that we just did those two cells. Eight. And then I think we added on two just to just to say that we got enough. Right? Thank you so much for the gift sub. Cosmic 2 Turing. Thank you for doing that. And then some overflow making its way in here. Okay. Cool. I need more chests down here. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. We're gonna do one more. What a mess. Huge project. Huge project. I love big projects, though. I love big projects. Why is that open? Ah, oh, there we go. <laughs> I have the best kelp farm. Kelp farm ever. Oh, Andrew, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Any plan to use autocrafters to combine? The cactus farm and flower farm to make large quantities of cyan dye. Um, no. <laughs> Not those farms specifically. Um, my plan actually was to use the moss farm to make the bone meal to supply the flower farm. Well, we were going to go this way. And yeah. But now we just found like a really cool place for cornflowers. So I don't even think I'm going to do that now. I think I'm just going to use the bones from the bone mill farm slash moss farm. So it's, it's really a bone mill farm. We're not keeping any moss. And and I'll just cart that over. I'll cart a whole bunch of bone blocks over and uh, just really stock up. And then we'll have it. Good. You brought your price back down? Good, good. Because you were too expensive. No, stop it. Stop the side eyes. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, keep lowering the price. Keep lowering the price. Excellent. If you could uh, unlock more. We could fit another guy in right here, couldn't we? 
Did we fit a... We, let's fit another cleric in right here. We got time? Five minutes? Come on! But mom! I want to play longer! <laughs> I'm not hungry! <laughs> mom, can I just play for another 10 minutes, please? <laughs> Yeah, we'll probably raid Tycho. Um, if you guys want to hang out, we're just gonna do one more villager, and then I'll probably I'll probably send you on over. These are hostile mob drops. Thank you. I think I'll do a couple more spruce trap doors. One, two, three. That's our brewing stand, and then uh, spruce trap doors. Thank you. Okay. Whoa, 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 mouse. Jeez. See, I need a new computer. Guys, I I can't do MCC. I'm having too many computer issues. I will I will get destroyed in MCC right now because of all my computer issues. My mouse just freaked out. I lost control of my mouse for a minute. Not great. Ali B, wait, Ali B, 911. Thanks for the 100 bits. And Tipex. Tipex best. Thank you for the 100 bits. Right? How am I supposed to win MCC when my mouse disconnects? Hold on. There you go. Uh, what we'll do... I don't want you to go anywhere, really. What I need... Any chance you'll just stay there for me? No? What if I push you? Okay. What if you... What if you stay there? Perfect. Kelf, don't even think about it. <laughs> okay? Don't even think about it, Kelf. Can't believe we named him that. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can get the other one in there, maybe. Maybe. Uh, if I put a block here, would that mean he won't see the cauldron? <laughs> he nods, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, go to your brewing stand. Be a cleric. Yeah. You stupid. What if? Hold on. Hold on. How about now? Change change your jobs. Change jobs. Oh, man. He's not happy with his, his selected job role. Hold on. Hold on. What if we do this? We get him locked in. There you go. Wait, wait, no! No, no, no! Not in the workplace! Oh, I gotta call HR. Shoot. <sighs> oh, man. Come on! They're not gonna... There's no bed! There it is. Okay. Oh. Okay, okay. We lock this one in. <laughs> this is not the time or place, okay? Okay? Wait, why won't it? It's not doing the thing. Oh, because it's perfect. Hey, Mr. Perfect. I can't, I can't spam the space bar with it. Okay, now he's locked in. We can put this back. Lock it in. You're gonna be next to uh, the furnace there. It's gonna get it's gonna get hot in here. Sweet. <laughs> uh, Kelf and Shelp. What's Shelp? Oh man. <laughs> Tangles. Oh, you guys. I don't have another name tag at the moment. Um, when I do get a name tag, though, we'll do it, okay? I currently don't have another name tag. That was the only one I had. <laughs> Parm? 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 Oh, Kelf Parm. Oh, I should have had him the other way around, though. 
I don't know. That might be pushing it. That might be pushing it. Oh, I love the fact that we're getting so many emeralds, though. And we're finally cleaning out the rotten flesh. That's the that's the goal. That's why we did this. That was the ticket. And also, I need redstone. Two for one deal. Get lots of redstone so we can keep making observers to build our farm up. Get rid of the all the flesh that's coming through because of these guys. Oh, man. Look at all the XP. We're getting XP. We don't even need it. Love it. You love to see it, as Ren would say. You love to see it. And they're locked up again. Okay. I have to keep our eye on this. I think they're good now. I think they fixed the villagers to where these guys will not lose their workstations, even though they're, like, right next to each other. It was working in my my hardcore world just fine with this setup. Hold on. Did he unlock? No. Okay. Cool. Now we have two of them. And I will, yeah, like I said, I'll name them next time. You guys might have to remind me because I'll forget by then. That's going to be, that's going to be Monday probably. Monday, Monday, Monday. In the meantime, I think I am going to, let's leave here real quick. I think I'm going to go to lunch with my wife. Come back, finish editing my video. So that you guys can have that tomorrow. You can find out all the good news. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> I would... Ooh! Ooh! When did that happen? Neat! Hello! <laughs> and I gotta do my taxes this weekend. Yeah. Okay. Oops. There was something in there you weren't supposed to see. Don't rewind. Okay, let's go ahead and get a raid going. I just trolled you guys so hard. So hard. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. You guys have been amazing today. Thank you guys for your support. Or just hanging out, being here, sending good vibes to the, the universe. Appreciate you all. I'm going to raid Tango now. We'll get you queued up. The raid screen is all sorts of different, and I actually like it. I know. Skiz was complaining yesterday, but that's because he doesn't like cool cool things. He, Skiz doesn't like new and cool things. I do. <laughs> Tango just started up. You're not going to miss much. And, uh, yeah, go give him some love. Let him know I sent you all that stuff. And I will see you guys again Monday. Be on the lookout on YouTube tomorrow for the video uh, if all goes well. So have a good one. See you later.